Hey folks, it's the holiday season and we've got four brand new shirts. Alexander Anderson, Piccoloshi, Piccolos, and A Hard Day's Fight. Check them out at sharkrobot.com slash team dash four dash star. Happy holidays from all of us here at Team Four Star. The party carved their way through the thick vegetation of the Southern Isle. As they reached the border of Yanti territory, Ziaka informed everyone that she would be parting with them in order to inform her people of their dilemma. She slithered off toward her tribe as everyone else continued on Victor's trail. It wasn't long before they heard rustling in the brush up ahead. From the foliage emerged three raptors, followed by their knoll trainer. Having never before seen a centaur, the knoll was fascinated by Eloy, who was quick to strike up a conversation. Through broken speak, the knoll introduced himself as Quicken, and informed them that his tribe had taken possession of Victor. It would seem that in an attempt to resurrect their chief's mate, they had taken him to a volcano at the heart of the island. Eloy explained the danger Victor posed to Quicken and his tribe, so the knoll agreed to take them to the ritual site. Most of the party mounted raptors while Gopher hopped on Eloy's back and they headed off on the trail. While riding swiftly through the jungle, they came upon a roadblock. Its creator introduced herself to the party as Gloriosa, one of the protectors of the jungle. She and her kind were disturbed by the presence of the naval officers after Victor had already wreaked havoc across their territory. After assuring her they were there to stop Victor, Gloriosa agreed to assist as she opened up a path to the volcano. Unfortunately, the path was crawling with abyssal monstrosities left in Victor's path. They fought through abyssal knolls, Yanti, and even a massive abyssal treant, but they eventually cleared their path. Now all that remained was stopping Victor. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna talk this out real quick. Look, man, we just no, all diplomacy rolls. Yeah. All diplomacy rolls. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, talk to him so good he turns himself in. Victor, you don't want to do this. Oh, does he not want to now? <laughs> nah, his life's work. You're done. Shit. Come on, man. You don't want to do this. It's Please your life's work. Stand Whatever. Down. You, you've been doing this for the past 15 years of your life, and now you want to stop right now. <laughs> it's it's over here. You've taken it a step. T it's a bridge too far, my friend. Uh, I told a him to please stop and rolled a nat 20 in persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> he agreed to slow down slightly. <laughs> That's what not I'm so fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Understood. How about you stop moving entirely? <laughs> I'll just move back a little bit further to this death lever and throw the switch and kill him. <laughs> so we're here, and barring an unexpected level up, we're about as ready as we're going to be. <laughs> the decision has been made. The, cast, the die has been cast. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to go? Yep. I believe so. I um, think so. I've taken a lot of damage from that treant, I just realized, after <laughs> looking back down at my sheet. Also, do we have pencils on this table? Uh, uh, I got a bunch of them over here. All right, I need I need uh, at least yeah, one with an eraser. Woo! Well, that's Thank the you. eraser. Hey, Whatever, here. I'll just... Aha! That's what I needed. Because I found a certain ah, under excellent. the map. Well, I will keep this here anyway as a reminder of our friendship, Zito. All right. You got one? <laughs> I do not. You do not. That's unfortunate. Do, 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 do. All right, well, here's this. I got oh, wait, you. Oh, I found one of mine. Hey. Ah, there you go. Hey. One that I already chewed the nice handy clip off of. Ah, there we go. Life keeps you know, being a circle. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, chew the clip off yeah, of take, them. Take a, yep. Take a pencil. Absolutely. Last we left you guys, you guys took care of a few risen abyssal. A few. Just a few. Yep. While all your other pals were taking care of the other few risen abyssal. Yeah, but we killed a tree, so... Uh, yeah. They killed five. We'll fuck them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know. Maybe they were off killing other trees, too. Maybe, maybe. Ones that weren't even living. Troy just wanted to get some extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to be sure. It's lumberjacking. <laughs> I'm five XP from my level up. <laughs> 
And while Glorios is sitting there just like, the fuck are you doing? My tree. <laughs> my trees. <laughs> All, All right. right. So with that, uh, you guys cut down this giant tree abyssal creature in twain. Yeah, e- e- Eloy felled it with his magic and it burst into flames. I mean, it might have just done that. That's his distance are just too good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so with that, you watch as the tree kind of just like falls over and turns into mush. And all your other companions are pretty much getting this job done, too. They're taking it far away. They're way easier off than you guys were. Of course. They didn't fight <laughs> a tree. Not? This isn't their adventure. Yeah, the military always taking the easy road. <laughs> Whoa, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. In this universe. <laughs> In this universe. In universe, you're right. So, they, uh... They, uh, they, they're finally finished with their batch. It looks like you guys have pretty much taken out all of the remaining dead bodies that there were. Gloriosa is kind of just sitting there like, okay, well, the rest of all this stuff, we're just gonna have to take care of this. She's, like, casting all kinds of, like curative magic to try and like just purify whatever remains are left right and it appears to be working i mean she was able to make you guys run around in circles for the past six hours through these woods she must have some pretty she's pretty powerful powerful, i'm guessing yep uh with that uh the whole reason why you guys were fighting your way through this was because she opened up a pathway to get out of the woods just to get over to the encampment where all the knolls were Mm -hmm. quicken he's pretty much uh he's like panting he's just like He's blown away by all of this. He's like, this, this is what, what bad things do. Oh, no. This is exactly what the bad things do, Quicken. And, and if we don't get to your tribe, the bad things are going to happen to them, too. He, like, grabs, like, some of the holsters he was grabbing on. Like, he was, like, making sure all the raptors didn't, like, just go fuck Fleeing. off into the day. So he's grabbing onto the holster and, he, like, pushes, like, one at you. Just like, get on, get on. What are you waiting for? All right, well. All I of hop- you roll handle animal, except you. Yay. Because golfers handle animaling you right now. <laughs> I've been here the whole time, lad. An animal handled. <laughs> you, see, you see him just like sitting there eating a banana. I don't know why I'm here. 23 on <laughs> my handle animal. All righty. I think my 16. raptor's quite kind. All right. Let's go for Skrung. He, Eloy is, is now warming up to golfer. He's, <laughs> all he's wanted is somebody to appreciate his, <laughs> his extra legs. Yep. <laughs> Gopher, I mean, not Gopher, uh, Skrung, unfortunately, got a six and falls face first into the floor. Are you going to help him up? You're going to help him up? <laughs> I reach out my hand. Come on, buddy, we got to move. Your majesty. Ro- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I know. I know you didn't say that. Roll diplomacy. But I thought about it. Uh, bu- 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 um, is that persuasion? That, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, 18. Yeah, he just takes it. He's just, he's just <laughs> biting the bullet and doing it. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, with that, you guys take off. Uh, before we take off, oh. I'm going to uh, turn to Gloriosa. Thank you very much for your assistance. We'll try to return this jungle to its natural state. Please do. She, yeah. And as you do so, she kind of like just yep, yep. you. You watch as like as you go away from her, she kind of like bleeds into the trees, almost like she was there and then gone. Or was she never here to begin with? I mean, I paid Jack $60. I pray to God she's there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While we're riding off, I'm going to eat some of this delicious healing candy. That's nice. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, 1d10. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to chow down on mine as well. I could use some of that. I'm only missing three health, so I'm going to hold off for now. Yeah, that'll get me... That said, if something deals 26 damage to me, I am in a bad place. It gets me back up to my normal maximum, but not quite what uh, the plus five that Eloy helped me with. Uh, What are you looking at? Uh, I'm back up to 35. Not quite full, but close to it. All right. So with that, you guys are now seeing that you're actually walking up more barren land. Uh, It's more flat ground. Uh, it, it goes from, like, grassy, like, plains into, like, hardened mountain area. Mm-hmm. And you're starting to feel the heat emanating from the volcano. This, you, the more you climb up, the more it's getting a tiny bit harder to, harder to breathe. And uh, the heat is kind of rising as you go up instead of it getting colder. I'm guessing especially for me. Oh, yeah, for you, this is new. You've 
you've seen volcanoes never near I've been one. I've been around fires. I've experienced flame. I've trained in flame, but I have never experienced a volcano. So with that, I want all of you to roll me survival. Nat 20, 24. Eloy, this is a breeze for you. You're just like... It's a mountain. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. You, so you are pretty much pulling off the Skyrim horse trick up the wall. <laughs> nice. I got an 18. Physics, bitch, I'm a donkey. I got a 15. <laughs> You 15. are kind of haggard at this, but it's not something that's going to make you, like, hack up a lung. My fishman scales are drying up. Yeah, you're, you're feeling all the moisture just evaporate as you go up this mountainside. All right, I'm going to pull out my... Oh, wait, my water skin's full of wine. Whatever, liquid's liquid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Just got to take a sip. <laughs> Bathe in wine. Oh, hydration. <laughs> I can't feel my fingertips. <laughs> all right. Uh, going up this mountainside, uh, Quicken is taking you guys up a small pathway that leads, uh, just off to the side. Like, you were scaling up the mountain, now you're just taking a turn and heading off to a, uh, an extended cliffside. And you're starting to see, like, flags and banners, all looking as if it's, uh, the talons of a raptor. But uh, it's a way more ornate, like, and it's got a little bit of a. It's got paw pads also as well, like the no, like broken up uh, designs of paw pads from Knowles all around the uh, the talons on the picture. Okay. So you're so, pretty... a, tri so a tribe signet basically. Yeah. So the tribe signet ap starts appearing. Uh, all the like you're starting to see other Knowles off of the distance now. A lot of them all wearing the same kind of bone armor. That you saw the other larger person, uh, the larger knoll in the uh, vision. Mm -hmm. uh, they do see you guys. You're at attention, and they're all riding on top of uh, of velociraptors as well. They're ready to like stop you by like you know standing in the way and doing the whole guard thing where like take spear and like kind of hold it in front of you. But then they see Quicken, and Quicken is like barking and shouting at them, and they immediately back the fuck up and just let you guys through. <laughs> Can I, can I just say your tribe symbol looks so friendly? It always looks like it's trying to give me a high five. I love it. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> and you specifically. <laughs> to you too. I think that's how they say hi. Careful, Eloy. No, uh, they they want, you, you smell real good to them. You smell like goat. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I've eaten goat. It's it's Ugh. totally different, I assume. Scrung just like big stuff. You eat ate. goat? Isn't that cannibalism? <laughs> okay, a I'm a centaur. All right, you're you're no, it's not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he smirks at the fact that you kind of like stopped yourself and tried to explain the whole schematics of it. <laughs> Look, you got you got two legs. You eat all kinds of things with two legs, man. That's not cannibalism. At least as far as I know. Now that I think about it, I've never seen you eat no meat. Do you eat meat? Of course I do. Okay, well, there you go then. Point made. You tell him, Eloy. <laughs> Everybody... <laughs> you tell him. I, I'm continuing to marinate myself. Yeah, right on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you are now inside, like, pretty, pretty much, you know, like, think Rambo. All, like, the wooden overtop kind of, like, uh... Huts kind of all just laid around. They're elevated off the floor. There's so a bunch first blood part two. Yeah, first blood part <laughs> two. So you're pretty much in this tribe. Uh, you enter like a giant bonfire area, and there's actually a cavern that leads uh, going north of you, but like it looks like no one else is entering there because it's kind of like a lip stage. Uh, Quicken kind of like is barking orders at a bunch of dudes. Everyone's kind of like staring at you all. Like they're all very wary of the naval party that you have with you. Because they're all they all look the same outfit, so as Victor has been, and Quicken is trying to actually explain to them. Like you hear in his broken comedy, he's trying to explain that they know of the man. They know of the man. the The man elf was here. They know of him. They need him. They want to find him. He is bad. He's also brought a body along with him, by the way. So yeah, he's good. got he's got a null abyssal body that wasn't completely charred away. Uh, with that. You hear, like, a hunting horn kind of sound off, and everyone stops, goes dead silent, looks towards the cavern, and kneels down. 
at this point, you guys have pretty much gotten off your mounts. Uh, Quicken has t collected all the rest of the uh, Velociraptors, and out comes the man you saw in your vision. All right, I, 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 I take the lead of everybody else, and I'll kneel down I, as well. I was going to say. Yeah. I, I, oh, you follow the kneel? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Show respect in somebody's homeland, <laughs> especially when they have a whole bunch of angry, hungry... <laughs> I Friends. look over to Scrung and uh, Gulfer to see if they are <laughs> trying to show respect. No. They're already pretty short. <laughs> Maybe it already looks like it. I just kind of like just... <sighs> Hold on. One quick second. Ha! Natural 20. Scrung's disappeared. Oh, right. he's gone. Okay. All, All right. right. You know what? That... He, he ditched the raptor before you even noticed. <laughs> I am more fine with that than him looking disrespectful. You might have lost him on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> I lifted I'm him up. I'm still here, you idiots! <laughs> Down below in the basin. The I, lifted, I lifted him up and assumed he came with me. <laughs> yeah, you assumed that. When you got off the mount, that's when you lost a uh, hide and seek of him. Okay. All right, so this commanding knoll, uh, not on top of his mount, but he has his mount along with him. It is a bigger, bigger mount than every other uh, so giant raptor with him. Okay. So this thing Big looks boy. like an alpha. It's got like a real. Uh, like a mound of plumage that like spreads from the crown of its head all the way back to its like almost to the base of its spine. Its claws are actually sharpened and fitted with uh, metal uh, bits and bobs, so it looks like it's wearing a gauntlet on each claw, and also on its talons as well. Uh, Quicken steps up and starts barking and growling and trying to point out to you, like he's pointing to you guys. You can barely understand what he's saying. The other one kind, the other, like the alpha, the, obviously this is the alpha, holds up his paw and he shuts the fuck up instantaneously. <laughs> kind of like, take, jumps down from the stage and stands, since you took the, sta the stage beforehand, mm -hmm. he's now standing before you. I look up at him. Explain yourself. My name is Wake, I come from the other island. Well, not originally. I look at my... <laughs> skin <sighs> this man this man that you seek to aid you has caused immeasurable damage to this island and the island that I came from and whatever you're looking for from him it's not going to be good I stand up and you say this mound of flesh is your proof this mound of flesh is one of his experiments. One of your people that he implanted some sort of a seed into. And it causes them to grow monstrous and feral. Quillick, is this true? He turns to Quicken. Quillick. Yep. <laughs> Quicken starts, like, nodding and trying to, like, explain himself. Hold your tongue, brother-in-law. I understand. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, we're good. No wonder he has such clout. Yeah, he seems kind of wiry as opposed to Yawagrik right now. He, yeah. Yawagrik is like regal as all get out. This man, like, the moment he, like, stands by someone, everyone kind of, like, even the guards kind of, like, cower in fear, like, and look away. This man commands respect just by being here. But Quicken, out of everyone, has seemed to, like, just been very calm and, like, understanding, and, like, he's way more confident in being around this man. More casual than yeah. the rest of the people, possibly. And what say you? He turns to uh, Ave and the rest of her crew. Ave stands from her feet, uh, stands up from her kneeling position. She was very courteous as well. Yeah, no, she, she was not pompous enough. She <laughs> understood the severity of this situation. Best to get what you want with a little <laughs> bit of honey. Yeah. It is true, the man you house, Victor, uh, Victor, is actually someone we're trying to seek. He killed one of my own, and I seek retribution for it. And all of this, he points over to the mound of flesh, this is his doing. This is his magic. This is what he does. He takes that which is arcane and corrupts it in the pursuit of finding true resurrection. It's how he brings people back. They don't come back the way you want them to. Roll persuasion. Uh, my charisma ain't great, so 12th. He's a little bit higher than you, but 
you can see that like he's taking, there's a reason there. <laughs> yeah, he's taking he's taking this into consideration. He's not you know he's not stubborn. He's not like being very aggressive or very pushed back on this. He's plus he taking, doesn't he plus he doesn't know that I know what he's looking for. Right. Well, we have this man in our holding pens. I, I will I will allow you an audience with him if it will state your curiosity. It will. And he offers you to follow him into the cavern behind him. Thank you, Yagrik. <laughs> he kind of squints at you. He never said your name. <laughs> Quicken introduced me. My name is Wake. I Actually, know. I believe I've introduced myself already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. He, he was just a little... He, he kind of, like, sneered at you because you said his name without him ever introducing himself. Very well. He, he like, looks he looks over at Quicken, and he's, like, biting and snarling at him now. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you just see him turn to Quicken and just go, like... And, like, and he's just, like, backing up, like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, his ears went back. Oh, yeah, his like, ears went back, like, oh, no. I'm sorry, Quicken. <laughs> As we're being ushered into this cavern, I am going to roll perception to try and see, just in case things get dicey, uh, what's going on, possible escape routes. By the way, should we uh, pass out these custom dice trays that somebody made for Indeed. us? Indeed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I, I got our lovely uh, oh, okay. dice tower here. Shit. Uh, I roll a six. <laughs> oh, dear. Nah, nah, man. There's not, just not it's, just it's just a sea of dog people. Just a, just a big old cave. Lots of dog people. All right. Lots of dog people. Bow wow. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I'm not looking at the surroundings. I'm looking dead at the cage at Victor. <laughs> uh, there is no cage. It's, or wherever he is. Yeah, he, he's taking he's taking you inside the cavern that was behind him. Uh, it's lit up with torches. This looks like this this is like a barracks of sorts. However, he keeps going in further, and he's taking every single one of you over towards a giant gaping hole in the floor. The only way to get down here is accessible by an elevator that seems to already be lifted down. He, uh, he barks down into the caverns. No answer. Rather concerning. He, wants to, he like, lets out an even bigger bark, and there's no return left. <sighs> well... Whatever happened down there, you might want to have you might want to have your weapons ready. He starts grabbing the rope off the side that pulls the elevator, and he starts uh, lifting it up himself. There's tug back, and he actually is pushed forward a bit. He lets go of the rope, and it's pulled down. You hear a large bang come from below. Like he almost he was getting himself like. A good distance, and then something yanked and pulled it down, and now it just fell out of his hands and it hit the floor below. It sounds like wood hitting a uh, stone. I take it that's not normal. No, no, it is not. Well, of course, none of this is normal. We're going into a goddamn pit of horrors and all kinds of nonsense. It's dark down there. I'm gonna. Yeah, isn't it great that you volunteered for this? Gonna take a shot in the dark here. I got dark vision. Can I see anything down there? Roll perception. Let's do this again. This time, slightly better. Well, slightly is correct. <laughs> uh, Eleven. I'm gonna strike a torch and like kind of <laughs> drop it down there. Roll again with advantage. Yeah. What do your elf eyes see? It's only half elf. He needs prescription elf goggles. Uh, <laughs> uh fourteen. Why weren't you at elf practice? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to make a perception check. I don't have dark vision, but there's a torch down there now. And do, 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 that is a 22. All right. It hits water. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what did you roll again? Uh, uh, 22. A 22? Yeah, did I manage before, to see anything before it hits water? Yes, before you saw the water hit, you... Uh, you noticed there was another form down there. It almost looked like a knoll, but it had a red aformous blob attached to it. Hey! I got bad news for you. Victor's already gotten to your people down there. I think I've seen that sort of red blob before. Have I seen that sort of red blob before? Yeah, it's abyssal. Yeah, it's, a, it's an abyssal slime. 
Yogrik looks kind of upset, a little nettled. So much so that he gets on his mount and he's ready to jump down. <laughs> well, I grab onto the rope that's attached to the elevator. Yeah, I, I was going to say, how, to as well. how deep is this? Deep oh. enough that Yogrik just fucking made the leap. All right. You watch All right, him going down, you sliding watch, down the rope. You save. watch him plunge down into darkness. I, 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 I follow his lead almost immediately and slide down the rope. With fucking grace and ease, the... the the, the fucking Velociraptor does a front flip going down. <laughs> Scree! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, you're going to head down? Yes. Oh, yeah. Wake, how deep is the water down there? I'll let you know when I get there. Okay. Roll acrobatics. I'm coming with them. Acrobatics. Acrobatics, yes. <laughs> uh, acrobatics would be a 21. Athletics would be a 19. I, mean, I meant you could just do athletics, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, acrobatics would be my better one. Yeah, athletics... Uh, athletics is a 19. Yeah, you kind of shimmy yourself down, like... <laughs> yeah, you, you fireman slide your way down the pole. Meanwhile, uh, I got a 10. You got a 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you're going down just Hold fine. on! Have <laughs> 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 you ever climbed okay. a rope before? Oh, boy. This ain't a ladder. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Uh, this is considered climbing, right? Yep. Oh, then it adds my dexterity instead. So I got a 15, actually. There you go. You're fine. <laughs> you're sliding down, too. You're just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Everything's good. Just not quite as good as Tarzan over here. <laughs> yes. I don't know how Merman, I Merman, the jungle dude. <laughs> <laughs> you get down there. Uh... How deep is this water? How deep is this water? It is only knee high, and it's only in a certain area. It's covering the elevator that's uh, underneath. Uh, it's, it's covering the elevator. The more you go down, but the water's boiling. Actually, it's not hot. Okay. But it's like it's steamy. It's steamy. <laughs> oh, good. My my skin's getting refreshed now. I was like boiling. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say the water's probably not gonna break your fall, Eloy. <laughs> You watch as Yalgrick is like having Surlag, which is the Velociraptor's name, by the way. Surlag. Uh, Surlag like is immediately going to town on these abyssal creatures. There's like two guardsmen, and Surlag is having none of this shit, just ripping them apart. I'll jump in. I'll attack one. Oh, then. no, there's no need. Oh, no, they're, 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 they're gone. They're, oh, they're, they're eviscerated. They're fucking eviscerated. Made short work of that. Impressive, I say, as I hop off the elevator and avoid the scalding water. All right, so he starts shimmying up the elevator. Uh, Yawgrick helps you out with that, so with a combined athletics check. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, that's a 14. Man, RNG Jesus, thank you. He's not, uh, he didn't really do so hot himself there, but he's <laughs> able to shimmy it up. <laughs> yeah, you're doing most of the work here. Unfor because of like how the you're used to like how things are when they're dropped in water and shit. Yeah. So your body's more uh, attuned to doing it. this. Whereas he he's like his he's got paw pads. He's not able to grip onto this very well. One would wonder if this was a really good idea for Knowles to use this technology to begin with. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you lift it up, you kind of watch that there's little engravings of what used to. It looks like. Engravings of snakes as the elevator is lifted up. This used to be a Yanti land. Oh, you mean the serpents? Yes. We uh, know a few of them. Well, we know one of them. There were none here when we found these caverns. Only we found lots of their statues and effigies about. I guess they just didn't want this place anymore. Or maybe they fled, they fled here. This is close to a volcano. It has yeah. erupted twice before. That's awkward. Seems like a dangerous place to put down roots. None of our concern. As long as we have this place, we are... Uh, as long as they don't want to claim this land back, we don't mind. Our neighboring tribes are very afraid of this place, and for good reason. And that's what we use to our advantage in uh, keeping a den here. Makes sense to me. All right. So with that, the elevator is called. Everyone else is taken down. Does that mean I'm holding, like, in my hands, Eloy, Troy Hulch? It, I'm holding... <laughs> Fuck! Well, I imagine one at a time. <laughs> nope! 
Oh, if we fuck. can take it in shifts, it's fine. <laughs> do you want to do it in full go? <laughs> I would require assistance. Well, you got Yalgrick there, and you got Ezra who's I, just sitting there just like... I come on over, spit on my hands in dramatic flair, and roll! Woo! Uh, 17. That's not bad. Yep, but I, you... got a, I got a 19 All right. as well, so... Yeah, you two are able to get this down with no problem. He doesn't want to sully his paws. <laughs> no, he's more concerned about having Serlag actually look down the caverns and try to, like... You see, like, Sir, like, like, look left and right, almost as if he's trying to pack hunt whatever is down here. Uh, while we're letting everybody down. So this is usually a holding area of sorts? Like, do you not have cages? We do. They're in further. Ah, well, this is going to be wonderful. I'm guessing it's still dark down here, so I light my torch. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, I'll light there up were my lantern as well. There yeah. were torches. Uh, yeah. There's actually it, like little... Put lantern, rather. There, yeah. there, there are lantern setups on each side of the wall, so it looks like people were down here once before, but they snuffed out the light uh, when Victor came down here. All right, as we walk by them, I'm just going to use my elemental attunement and just pff, light them back up. These don't look like normal torches, nor... <laughs> No, no, you, you light oh, it up. I can light them up? Okay. You do light them up. There's light there's the up. wooden part of the... And the oil is still, it's still there. It's still oil. However, the casing around it looks like ornate glass, and then the serpent kind of like loops over on top of it. Does it look from? Uh, does it look similar to the uh, type of glass that the uh, um, the collective one is made out of? Roll intelligence. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> looks like glass, my dude. It sure is purdy. Yep, it's purdy. <laughs> I don't believe in glass. <laughs> oh, for fuck's no, sake. It's not, no, it's not glass. Some sort of plastic. God damn it. Natural wonders. <laughs> R and Jesus giveth. It's, 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 it's a torch, my dude. You set it up and it looks <laughs> it looks pretty. Uh, <laughs> I did it. Just lights it up. It's just a big blinking hint. And you're just like... Nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> a dead man holding the skull. Like, a dead man holding the torch up. Yeah, mm. nothing to look Looks into. Looks legit. <laughs> Fancy decorations you have. What is it, Halloween? <laughs> All right, so we're actually here now on the map. Hey! Oh, cool. So there are two branching paths. One leading to the left and one leading to the south. On the left-hand side over there, that's the three uh, naval partner, uh, three uh, naval officers. Uh, They're that's, taking a nap. Yeah. So where you're pointing? That's Yalgrick Skrung. When did you get here? He's hiding, but he, he's been hidden. You no, know, no, he's he's been there. He just rolled a really good stealth check before. Like, <laughs> yeah, just like appear, he appears off the elevator as you watch like the the little metal lip. Yeah, and all the bigger people walk off. He walks off behind them. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you made it. And uh, Golfer's there as well. And then the others is you three. All right. All right. So Yalgrick wants to head south. Which would be that way, which is, I guess, north on the map. Uh, you'd want to head that way, yeah. He's, look he's looking ahead, and there's a one to the side. He's looking at the one that's ahead. Okay, so we're going to go straight ahead then, I guess. If he's... Uh if his is if his uh, I'm, I'm I'm guessing he's the, the nose knows this one. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I was gonna say. And he probably has the better layout of the land, so, right, so we'll, we'll follow way. him down that way. All right. Yep. Go ahead and release that. <laughs> fog of war here. Yep. Fog of war. Ah, and each of them hides a picture of Victor. <laughs> 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 all right. So the fog. Of, I'm not gonna move all the pieces. Yeah. So That's for fine. Now, for now, until anyway. we until we get into combat, then we'll deal with it. Yeah. Well, actually, the naval op uh, the naval officers didn't follow you. Whatever, that's they're on them. They're discussing amongst themselves. Arohadi wants to go the opposite way. You guys are free to do what you want. I think we all kind of agree we're sticking with Yagrik. That I mean, he's the one who's been down here and knows where to go. That look, seems sensible to me. Look, we got each other across the ocean. I think that's all. I think that's all our business here dealt with. It all, uh, Yagrik turns to you, all paths lead to the same place. So if they choose to go down one path, that's fine. We don't know where this victor is, and if they are the same kin and also have the same sort of magic that he does, maybe it would be best if we were to split. I still vote we stick with Yagrik. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I want to I hang out with my furry riding a raptor 
king chief. <laughs> and Wake doesn't like the Navy. He just, you know what? This this guy's not a pirate. He's not the Navy. Perfect. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right. So you guys follow him down. He takes you down to another path. All right. So we got another one? one leading straight ahead and then to the side. Yep, to the side. So where do you, uh, where would you guys like to go? Because right now. As you're going down these caverns, you're watching as, like, part of it looks like it was sculpted out, and it's having more of the Yanti etchings on it. However, there's another good chunk of it that, like, there's heat emanating off parts that look like it's made of obsidian, natural obsidian. Ah, so we're really close to actual lava. Um, I no, am... it's not that extreme. The heat's not that extreme, but you can feel, like... Well, just the fact that rising. obsidian is formed. <laughs> yeah. Lava has been here. We are in a volcano. So, um, let's see. I'm going to do a listen check to see if I can hear something from either of these pathways. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm more attentive than I am stupid. Um, that's debatable. That is a 21. 21. So, we got the path to the side and the path straight ahead. All right. Path to the side. You don't hear anything. You just... But, however, going forward, you hear shuffling. All right, we're going to go forward then. All right. Shoop. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's a little room. What's in this room? All we right. Got, we got, like, two circles and stuff. What, what, what do we see when we enter this? As soon as you enter in that side of the room, you see metal bars. This is obviously the holding cell he was talking about. However, inside there, there's two circular jars that reach from the bottom of the floor all the way up to the ceiling. It doesn't look like there's anything inside. It just looks like there are little glass tubes that just reach both the top and the bottom of the of the floor. Uh, I'm sorry. They reach the ceiling and the floor. Okay. So were these here before your people, or did your people install those? Those were here. Okay. Any idea what they do? Not at all. They just seem like decoration. We never touched them. My, my mama had one of those. All right, you put the water in the bottom, and then you stand at the top, and then you pull out the carb, and it filters through. Oh. I don't think that's what this is, Eli. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. However, so if, you I, would and, like and to, I, if you would like to, from this uh, location, if you want to roll a perception check, you could get a closer look at it without going through the gate. Now, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a look at the whole room. I'm looking the uh, 17. I guess. 17 for the whole room? Yeah, 17 for the whole room. And uh, we got a 7. Because we heard shuffling. Mm -hmm. ha, ha, natural one on me. All right, what, what stumbles out from the darkness? Nothing stumbles out from the darkness. <laughs> it's actually inside the glass. All right, well, I'm now... You see a tiny little red hat pointed up from inside the glass. Oh, hey! Hey, Skrung, is that, is that what I think it is? Skrung readies his pistol. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think it is. He take he looks at it. He's he's not waiting. He's taking the shot. I'll let him. He's in a cage. <laughs> Although I'll ask Yagrik if he has a key. Nah, too too late for that. <laughs> Skrung, There's okay. no time. Yeah, Skrung is like no mother. <laughs> yeah, no motherfuck. <laughs> Pulls out his pistol, takes the shot, like. It spooks the raptor, and it, like, jumps to the side. Everyone is kind of just like, oh, ah, God! my ears! Yeah, no, you're inside a fucking small, <laughs> compacted area. You hear the, the gunshot blaze out. Sorry he does that sometimes. And the glass shatters as the little head of a red cap brownie, like, looks up. Don't mind him. He's royal. <laughs> <laughs> like, snaps his fingers. You see the ring on his finger, and he, like, the portal v appears above him, pulls down, and he vanishes. Damn it! They're in here, too! So it would seem. Skrung, like, runs up to where the whole, uh, to where the glass was that he broke, and he looks inside of it. Oh, wow, you can just get through that. I'm gonna see oh, no, if he, I can shimmy he, my he, way through the bars. Yeah, no, he shimmied his way through. He's small enough. All right, I'm gonna... Yalgrick is taking a small key and kind of just like playing around. <laughs> That'd with do it. it. Yeah, no, he's like, don't, don't be foolish here. Just opens the door. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna look down that tube. Uh, not quite as good. A seven perception. A seven in perception. Uh, 
You look down the tube, it just looks like there's... Uh, it used to go down deeper, but it's now filled in with obsidian. Okay, how wide is it? About as big... Uh, I'm going to say about as big as this. Okay, so it's not like one of those tubes that the Yanti would have been using to... Oh, know. no, it's not, it's not traversable. It looks like something was put on display here. From the inside of it, it looks like there was like probably a pedestal that held something up, but the pedestal's gone. Okay. So this looks like it was a display case of some kind. Very ornate. Is there anything else in this room? Alrighty. Uh, what else you see in this room is more Yanti descriptions. More de uh, descriptions of the collective one from what memory serves you of what you saw back at the temple. Alright, I ask uh, Yagrik, is this the cell in which you kept him? This is one that we could have kept him. I did not oversee his capture and placement. Alright. That was to my guards. Well, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be a lot of help. Unfortunately, yes. He now takes a look inside the uh, display case as well. It's quite a shame. There was a few bits of gold that were placed in here. We found a few bits of treasure. There's a shipwreck at a cavern not far from here. Yeah, I heard about that. Gopher, <laughs> like, picks up like, what? Now, I'm, Gopher I'm, I'm is, like, Gopher like is now, up. like, right next to Yagrik. What'd you say, lad? I'm like holding up a map. Mm. Hello, you said you knew where it was. I did, but not the specifics. Well, some good this map is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make a living somehow. Apparently it's by losing maps at gambling. <laughs> yeah, but you would have five, yeah. Yeah. You would have came here in the first place anyway, <laughs> and now we're a little bit hot on the trail. Fair enough. So, what's this uh, shipwreck you're talking about here, lad? The small one annoys me. Yeah. Yeah. He does that. <laughs> it's Scr Scrung seems looks, to be a case of that. Scrung looks, is, like break, is like shifting through all the broken glass. He like looks up. Oh, wait. He's talking about him. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Just keeps going through. <laughs> nah, we love you, Scrung. <laughs> he looks, he looks, Scrung just looks up. <laughs> Better finger guns than real guns pointed at me. <laughs> so, I say, so I say, um... Have you ever encountered things like what my companion here just fired at? I ask Yagrik. Pistols, you mean? No, no, no. The uh, the little thing that was in the tube that he shot at. I couldn't get a good glance at it, but I've never seen anything quite like that appear here. All right. Well, if they're down here, we should probably be careful because they're... The last time we came across one, they liked setting traps. What kind of traps? Well, the ones that we came across were just little runes that popped up and made a lot of noise, but I'm guessing they have other more sinister versions. Well, as you say that, Skrung holds up another rune. Like <laughs> that one? I take a cautious step back. He throws it to you. It's, <laughs> not, it's, not, it, it's not set. <laughs> <laughs> I smirk. All right, that was a pretty good one, Skrunk. <laughs> it's not armed. <laughs> Knowledge arcane. I say looking at the rune. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty smart when it comes to magic. Uh, 20. Not Nat. Uh, you could have sworn in your travels that by looking at this, this almost looks like the elvish word for bomb. Yeah, like this one. I'm pretty <laughs> sure this one will explode. If I... Trigger? I'm not going to attempt. I don't know <laughs> don't how these work. Don't touch the scribe. Well, maybe you shouldn't have tossed it to me. I underhanded it to you. <laughs> you underhanded a bomb to me. I know. It would have been funny if it went off. Yeah, really funny. Really funny. Super funny. It Hysterical. It kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a little funny, lad. Just a little. Well, I am Not right to... now. <laughs> Later. Well, now you have a small hand grenade. Yeah, a small explosive rune running out of space in my items, so I'm just writing on spare parts of the page. <laughs> hey, I've been there. Scrong looks over to the other display case. So do you mind if I, uh... Oh, good. I mean... You give it a good old smash, and Yagrik just doesn't look appeased at all. He's just like... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Scrung looks over to the glass. <laughs> Everyone roll reflex. <laughs> uh, not reflex, uh, dexterity save. Same thing in my book. Ugh. Eight. 
25. Modified 20. All right, down the list again. You? 25. Mod 20. Eight. <laughs> Eloy! <laughs> Eloy, my boy. Son. Does Eloy know what happens when glass enters the body at very <laughs> fast velocity? Uh, I'm sure tells he's, about, me he's to. about to. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. One could say, like, it's... You don't feel it go inside your body just so quickly until the pain just five <laughs> seconds later kicks in. Hey, what I missed? Why does everything hurt? Take seven points of damage as Ooh. glass is now covering the entire front section of your torso and face. I am catching it. <laughs> yeah, everyone else dodged out of this pretty well. Unfortunately, this was a force trap. It was a force rune, and Skrung fell right for it. Luckily, dodged it. Unfortunately, Eloy took all of it. Yeah, he ducked it. <laughs> he ducked behind Eloy. Ow. Sink. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy-buddy routine has vanished completely as I stomp over to Skrung. You apologize to him right now. That was a bad move. He holds up a small sack from out of the, out of the hole. There you go. Here's your apology. It's the Red Caps loot. Aw. He's willing to give it up. <laughs> that that actually does mean a lot. Thank you, Skrung. <laughs> I open up the sack and see what Boom! Inside. It's another force rune. <laughs> Roll for dexterity. Oh, God. This fucking loony Oh, does. no! Oh, no! Natural wonders! Woo! This fucking loony tunes bullshit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that spider jumps out of the bag. It's not. Wait, wait. <laughs> Spring snakes. <laughs> I'm so no, bad. I've still got that. Okay. <laughs> oh lord. I snake. haven't revealed that tool yet. <laughs> that thief tool. Can snakes in a can. You, to your dismay, as you open the bag up, there's more of those same runes. <laughs> That was tossed at him. Oh. One starts to light up as your thumb slowly grazes the top of one. Oh. You, as time slows down for <laughs> you, as you watch as this thing start to crack, crackle and sizzle, and then you anticipate the pop as one starts to churr and whir, Start to jump up a little bit, kind of like a Mexican jumping bean, and then... Yeah, it's slow, it's slow motion. Eloy, what is it? <laughs> That's more like it. What was that? So you know those small little popping fireworks that you throw on the floor? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what happened. You set off a dud. Uh, that was lucky. I set it very <laughs> carefully down and back away. Well, don't leave us in suspense. What was it, Skrunk says? It's more splodies, <laughs> and I would not like to come near them. I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> more glass. All right, so you want to take a look inside? Yes, more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that you know, have that knowledge, opening the bag, you kind of like do so gently. There's about five in here. Right, five so more explosive runes. Six, six, six small one, explosive one runes. One where the, uh, the wording has faded away because Eloy set it off. I have five explosive runes. Yep. No, you have, I'm sorry, you have four, one that's... Been... Well, no, I had the one that I already had plus the right, 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 five, sorry. four that are in there. Fair enough. So, yeah, you have five of these five explosive Five and roots. one dud. Make sure that's there in your inventory, <laughs> yeah, too. You did, you never oh, yeah, I can we, threaten them with yeah. the dud. You never said you threw it away. <laughs> if you need someone to convince somebody that it's real, you can <laughs> hand it off to me. He's a madman! <laughs> <laughs> I've rigged this jacket to blow! No, I'll hold it up. I'll, you do the talking. <laughs> He's crazy! <laughs> he lives for the thrill of explosions now! 
you don't understand. I am controlling Wake's every move, and I can have him set these off at any time. <laughs> Stand down, Victor. Okay. <laughs> Guys, b- based on how this day is going so far. <laughs> You know what that s- s- says the guy who has Velociraptor wounds on his face and now glass shards? <laughs> exactly. I'm just, just give me a second. I get into my pack. I'm going to drink that vial of Cat's Grace that I've had since the first episode. Hey, I think I'm going right. to do that too. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> Temporary plus two to your speed. Dexterity, right? Yep. Yep. God, if I had that now. <laughs> it wouldn't make much of a difference. Anything beyond five is obscene. It would give you six, though. It's magical yeah. means. It's the thing. I'm pro- I'm proficient in deck save. I just rolled really bad twice. It's okay. I, I, st- I still have I still have Grammy's special soup in my tummy or special pie in my tummy. So yes, I'm I'm still okay. All right. So with that, everything else in this room is kind of like taken away. However, Scrung. Does look like he kind of fell in a little bit deeper inside the center of that glass uh, display that he broke up. Hey, Scrung, can you stand out of that for a second? Stand out of it? Yeah, just get out of it for a sec. He uh, steps out. I'm going to take my staff and just, like, kind of pop down the middle of it. Your fist almost complete, like, your (laughs) fist almost goes into the hole. Like, that's how deep it goes down. Whoa! I am going to stand as far away from this as I can (laughs) and still be in the same room. (laughs) <laughs> so you poke and prod the bottom end of the uh, of the hole with your staff. Mm-hmm. It goes down deeper, and it almost feels like when you like route your staff inside of it, you kind of like fish around a little bit, and you feel as though there's another pipe that kind of like leads to the left and to the right, going both ways. Ah, that's how you get the job done. All right. Um... Yeah. So you like snaked around your staff, and you feel like this is a pipe entrance. So something was being transferred in and out. All right, so this used to be some sort of, I don't know, delivery system, it seems. The snakes are far too big to have some sort of No, not for like them. That. I don't think it's for them, and maybe it wasn't even made by them. Maybe this is older than we think. It is quite possible. We only just <laughs> achieved this place about five years ago. Hmm. Does it feel like, uh, it, it, when I put my hand over it, does it feel like there's any sort of suction or anything going on down there? Nope. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll find our answer in another room. Agreed. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't think any of us are fitting down there. I mean, Scrung's the smallest, and... Scrung can fit his entire arm in there, but that's Yeah, he can fit it. his arm. That's it. Wait, what am I doing? This is stupid! <laughs> he pulls his arm out. It's all slimy. Hold on. What color is that slime? It's not red. Okay. It's clear. It's translucent slime. Ooh. I'm gonna get a finger of that slime. Hmm. <laughs> Say that first date. Oh God, this is D and D, and the context is so important. No, nope, no context. <laughs> Put it in the quotes, Nightbot. <laughs> look, look, I sh- look. That's I shove you- my staff into the slime, and I <laughs> wriggle it around. Yeah, your staff didn't obtain the slime. It was. But, when it sti- but it sticks to organic matter. Yes. I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can like discern if I've ever come across something. This like will be this an before. investigation. Yeah. Quite the earthy flavor. Uh. Let's see, investigation is plus one. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> you have no idea what this could be, but based on how it's like adhering to your flesh, it feels. It feels like some kind of adhesive for biomaterial. I have no idea why you would need such stuff. Yagrik is lost. He has never seen this before. And this looks completely foreign to everyone else, like NPC-wise. <laughs> yeah, no, this stuff's not coming off. Your, of your, fi- your fingers are kind of just, like, stuck together like this. Roll me a con to get out of this. Constitution. Okay. Yep. Uh, Constitution save 13? Yep. With, uh... Like rubbing it on the walls. And- yeah, rubbing it on the walls. Uh, you kind of rub it against the wall. You're like, look at the collective one and make a little mustache for shits and giggles. 
your finger's now stuck to the wall. <laughs> mm. I'm I'm gonna rummage through my healer's kit and see if I have anything like a salve or anything that might conceivably. Still like, you have alcohol. All right. Is yeah. it still like elastic? Stuff yeah, yeah. No. Th Damn think it. Dumb and Dumber now. <laughs> wait, wait. Let yeah. Me, let me pour some uh, pour some rubbing alcohol on that. See if that'll uh, dissolve that for you. All right. It's, it's all I can think to try. Roll medicine with advantage. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank God for advantage. A Seventeen. You pour it on his hand. You f like you can <laughs> feel it burn like a little. It's a good burn. It's a ah. good burn. <laughs> it's like drying my skin a little bit, but. You feel you feel the webbing in your fingers kind of just like have a little bit of acidic burn, but you're oh, feeling your fingers peel uh, peel off together ah. and then actually pull against the wall. Ah, nothing like that good finger peeling feeling. <laughs> you're lucky. You Say that get four stuck times to the fast. ceiling. Finger peeling feeling. Finger peeling feeling. Finger peeling feeling. Finger peeling feeling. Stage work. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there you go. You're so free wheeling. <laughs> free wheeling. Strong kind of like looks up at you. <laughs> <laughs> Your fingers are stuck now. Your hands are stuck. Your hands are now stuck as you lift. You lift Scrung oh, off right the off floor. Scrung. <laughs> I just look at Scrung. I'm sorry. I misunderstood what we were doing. Let me get that alcohol back out. Roll medicine. Uh, uh, Twenty-two. Look at where your sticky fingers got us, Scrung. Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was giving me props for the joke. Hey, you know what? <laughs> oh, right. The, the goo. Yeah. So with that, you pretty much have, like, observed everything that's going on in this room. All right, so we have sticky slime, tubes of sticky slime that's just kind of flowing down there, I guess. And the obsidian was blocking the other one. Yeah, and the obsidian that is blocking the sticky slime. All right. Let's move on. I think we'll find some. I'm going to take a jar of that sticky slime. All right. I'm going to need you. Let's see here real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Jar of sticky slime. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Luckily, the last jar that I had the tumor in is now empty. <clears throat> All right, uh, first, roll me a sleight of hand. Uh, that is a 20. All right. Uh, you, modified. You can get your hand in there, no, Some yeah, without feeling up the jar. But now, roll me a survival. Uh, that is a 19. All right, you're actually able to scoop up a good, probably, like, quarter of the jar full of this slime. I see Wake, and I'm like, I like your angle. I take my now empty vial from the cat's grace and walk over. Roll again. Roll the same amount. Uh, same uh, rolls, sorry. Uh, sleight of hand. Eight. All right. Uh, you say this only, uh, like, your only... Fa your hand is now stuck inside the pipe. With an eight? That seems like a With one an problem. <laughs> I mean, it's still <laughs> wet in the pipe, so you could be able to pull it out, maybe? I don't know. And you said this only adhere like, this is stuff that adheres to, uh... It looks like it's only adhering to flesh, because you were able to scoop this it up like It adheres to water. something and flesh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What okay. You, well, uh... Hindsight being twenty twenty. well, first off, let's, let's see if we can get, you, can get your hand out of there. I'd try to, uh... One more. <laughs> yeah, try to pour the uh, the alcohol down there. Uh, uh, Seventeen. All right. Well, <laughs> you get his hand out. <laughs> ah. All right. Maybe I won't have. <laughs> Fuck was that? That what? came from the pipe. Did did that sound did that sound like a bloater fish to me? No, that was that not a bloater new? fish. Okay. Distinctly different. Distinctly different, different yes. Different Did it sound new or... No, it's new. Oh, great. You've never heard this thing before. All right. I am now seriously regretting putting my hand in whatever that is. Nothing else happens. It's just you just heard the scream from inside the pipe. 
Eloy, if you pour more alcohol down there, will that happen again? You have used up all your alcohol at this oh. point. All I right. pour down some wine. Nothing. No. <laughs> I I kind of don't want that to happen again. That was real spooky. I think I think we got some some weird flesh glue. I I I want to call this one a win. <laughs> it's fair to me. <laughs> <laughs> and check another room. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I have take a stupid idea, you guys. <laughs> could one I... of those runes fit in this hole? It could. <laughs> Look, I don't know how dumb your idea is, I say, as I am using a brush from my cartographer's equipment to coat the runes <laughs> with the slime. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna also um, a good idea. I'm gonna sh I'm just gonna be out in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, Yogurk is gonna Yogurk and Scrug are gonna follow you. Look, all we have to do is just Golf Golfer's like, lad. I think I know where you're going oh. with this. Yeah, Golfer. All he, right. He, he like, now I'm glad he we brought you. He opens up his cloak and like has like a whole fucking like shitload of vials hanging. You want to play it. chemistry set on this thing? Oh, lad, do I ever! <laughs> All right, well... This uh, sounds like fun experimenting! <laughs> I'm just patiently coating all of these things in slime, making sure that the slime does not touch each other bomb, <laughs> and, like, stacking them independently, like, wrapped, so that they can't touch other organic matter. All right. That way, when I throw them, they can attach to things. Mm. Just don't pick it up the wrong way and have it stuck to your hand. That's why I'm only coating <laughs> one side. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Gopher now, like, pulls out... A, a small bottle, excuse me, a small bottle of green-looking sulfuric-like acid. Golfer, you mind if uh, we do this from a distance where, uh, you know, you seem used to all this chemistry stuff. <laughs> I just, all right, I'm backing up. <laughs> By the way, for my uh, crafting check, I don't know what to add to it, but I rolled a nat 15. Um, like what should I add to a crafting check? Is that dexterity check or would be buh, 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 medicine perception, buh, 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 insight, intimidation, investigation? My closest guesses would be dexterity or intelligence. Yeah, I'd say intel. Okay, so that's a sixteen. A sixteen? Yeah, just to coat these things with one side with a sticky epoxy. You do so. Okay, so I got five sticky bombs and one dud. Is it a sticky dud? No, I did not make the okay. dud a sticky. You did not make a dud a sticky. All right. You watch. You hear the screech once more. It bubble and gurgle as the acid now fills up all like the, the way the to ball. the hole. Yep, it fills up the hole. I'm going to say that probably used up my jar. That's all I really wanted to use with it anyway. You keep hearing okay. sizzling as some kind of mound of pink flesh mm -hmm. rises mm -hmm. to the top mm -hmm. and now starts bobbing and then sinks back down as it dissolves. Do, 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 do. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> I'm just painting. Well, oh, problem was, solved. That was weird. <laughs> I, uh, I, think, I think we got whatever was in there. Yeah, it was like, from what you saw... I need you guys to roll me a quick investigation. Not you. You were busy counting your things. No, I, I'm I'm very diligently painting my bombs. You you as well. Oh. Eight. All right. I wasn't looking too close. Apparently. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Now you're not a betting man, but you could have sworn by some weird happenstance that may have looked like a piece of gray matter. Like from a brain? Yeah. I think that was brains, y'all. Maybe that was the creature's brain. Of we course were... it was brains! It's science, lad! But I'll tell you what brains are. Sticky bombs! <laughs> I'm a genius. Let me put this in my back. Yeah. Oh, on, oh. on that note, Wake, I'm out of that of that alcohol. Maybe wear gloves when you handle those. <laughs> I'm, ra I'm wrapping them in paper so that they don't right. get sticky to me or anything else. They only stick to organics, as we have discovered. All right, well, now that hole is filled up with sulfuric <laughs> acid. Great. All right, shall we move on? Want another handful, Scrung? <laughs> Let's go! All, All right. right. You're lots. All right, so we walk up to this next branch in the... Is that a branch, or is that... Nope, uh, that's just a tunnel. Nope, it's just a tunnel. All right, so we wander up that way, then. You want this, then. Okay. Oh! What are we looking at here? What you are looking at... On Lake. 
Uh, as you enter, you see that there are more of those glass fixtures all around, all about the room. Okay. Uh, this looks like it used to be quartered off rooms, almost like small little human-sized wooden do uh, door frames. And when they lead inside, from what you can tell, this almost looks like it's part of a ship. Interesting. Uh, all three of you, roll me a quick intelligence check. Nope. Nope. Ten. <laughs> this almost looks like the crew quarters, like sort of like little block off section like you were on the Vulton. This, so this... Does this, this look familiar to anyone else? This, when did we get on the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> no, this looks like a ferry. It looks like a piece of a ferry's I, uh, quarters. This looks like kind of the remains of a ferry like we took to get here. So, these are probably rooms, <laughs> I'd guess. Maybe. That stupid fairies have wings and fly around, I said no, with my that. natural one investigation check. <laughs> yeah, natural wonders. <laughs> Can't wait for a gif of that with Grant's disappointed face <laughs> as you guys high five. <laughs> yes, Yalgrick says that this is actually a room they use to torture and use it to get information out of people. Ah, yeah. great. I thought I felt some comfortable vibes coming from here. Uh, so these, like, doors. Uh... When you walk inside, they look like... They almost look like the inner workings of a piece of an Iron Maiden. So... The Iron Maiden kind of like looks like this. So it's like where you sit, uh, then there's rows of spikes crawling up the seat, and then spikes that kind of like lead off on both sides. So sitting down in this thing is kind of a torture chamber. Okay. Wow, when you said torture, you weren't kidding. I take a look around the room. Just to see if I can get, ooh, uh, 23 in perception. 23 in perception. Is that someone sitting inside one of the rooms? That looks like there's a person sitting inside one of the rooms. Anyone being tortured scheduled today? Apart from Victor, no. Is it uh, Victor? I go up to the door. <laughs> it's a null. That's not Victor. Easy killer. It's not. <laughs> uh, can can we like see the null? Is he uh, is he just? This is a fresh out? corpse. Okay, corpse. Got it. It also looks like he's got little slits going down his chest and his arms. Well, that might not be Victor, but uh, he's been here. <laughs> Yagrik, forgive me for what I'm about to do. I take out a uh, canister of oil and I toss it at the thing. There's a tumor. All right, I light, I light. <laughs> <laughs> that entire room is now ablaze. You set that on fire? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to stand over here while you do that. Roll survival. Yes. Uh, that is a uh, 16. Yeah, so you set that entire room on fire. That also means that entire piece of it's going to be on fire. Yes. Smoke is entering the entire room right now. <laughs> All right, we've done our job here. No, I, um. Something what? else you want to do? <laughs> no, I just think this is a bad, bad place to be right now, filling <laughs> up with smoke. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta cover my mouth and just start walking back. I guess we'll wait for this to clear up. So which way are you gonna go? Not Mark? the first time. I'm heading back the way we came. You're heading back the way you came. Yogurt actually wants to go forward. Yeah, is we'll it, continue forward. Is there gonna be a way for the air to get out? The back seems, the way we came. He seems comfortable going this way. He's not too worried about that. He's just kind of angry that you kind of busted up his torture room. I can find another one. We're trying to stop a zombie uprising here. Or, I'm sorry, an abyssal infected uprising. <laughs> a very scary virus that does not oh, involve the dead Oh, what's the difference, lad? They're back. both undead in some regard. Yeah, but one's actually alive. 
says one's, and the other one doesn't exist. I say one's real. <laughs> well, all right. Even Yager looks at you just like you don't don't ask. <laughs> Does he not it's think it's a the... long story? Look, some Zombies. people use the most circuitous logic you would ever imagine to deny the existence of the supernatural. I don't get it either. You mean just like how you did for magic, says Krung? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, don't talk about his instruments like that, your highness. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll continue down this way now that this room is on fire. Oh, hey now. That's ah, a much bigger cavern. A much Ooh. bigger cavern. A very big cavern. Da, 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 da. Feeling the I feel like there's something that's... This seems, my, like, this, this seems like an important room. All right, we're going to have to move the pieces over there now. Oh, good. All well, right. We were only moving them over there for calm. Pat. Here's you boys. Let's get all of this over here. Not them. Yeah, they're... <laughs> <laughs> they can hang out in there. <laughs> Cup holder of shame. Yeah. They're in a mystery room. They're probably around here now. They probably just set off a couple bombs. Do, do they get cotton candy on their route too? <laughs> I bet they do. I bet they found the. I bet they found yeah. the. I bet yeah. they found the break room. Yeah. <laughs> you guys won't believe this, but over here they have TV and cable. We just sat down and watched a couple movies. <laughs> Vending machines are a little pricey, but they got the good Doritos. <laughs> It's a spinning machine with pop tarts in them, and there's a toaster in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, so you guys enter a giant cavern. Uh, you see, you watch as the room kind of opens up. Obsidian is coming in from the ceiling. It's kind of like creating, was it stalactites or stalagmites? That uh, st the tights stalactites are the, tights are the yeah. holding tight to the ceiling. Yeah, tights are coming down. They're made of obsidian. Uh, around you are bits and pieces of various ships. A couple of frigates, a couple of ferries, uh, uh, a couple of uh, sloops. And in front of you is a giant sloops. pool of water that smells like the ocean. And it's leading out into the back. So this is an open channel into the ocean. I was going to say, how did these get in here? But now that adds up. But uh, all these broken ships, they're not all of the same, like, build. They're all different kinds of ships. Seems like a regular spider's nest for ships to get caught in. I don't know. I'm losing my way with the analogy. I have a feeling Victor escaped through this, though. He would need a boat. There is a pathway leading into the back, says Yagrik. It leads further down. We've not ventured further into there as we've felt a little uneasy as it's closer to the volcano than we like. Well then, I guess we should head that way. Wow. And we have more of these, uh, like, these red circles in here. Are those more of those little glass... T yeah, they are, and they're bigger. Okay. They're bigger, and also... Roll investigation. 16. Nat 20. Ah, you, you, look on Finally. The, you look on the floor and you're seeing is, remember how like the glass kind of like ebbs into the floor, but then there's like a little bit of lip, almost like an ornate bit of lip that reaches over the glass that holds it in place? I remember that, yes. That's all around the edge of the water. Okay. So this looks like the water's coming, like, overflowing over a giant, like, circle that used to be a glass yeah. case. And yet the entire walls still have the etchings of the collective one. The statues are still, there are statues on the wall. Everything still lo looks like it's yan T, but yet this doesn't look like it's yan T architecture because when you look at the lip on the floor, it almost, like, gives off a bioluminescent glow. Almost like there's a little strip, strobe of light that goes along with it. They're probably not going to be happy when the sulfuric acid makes it in there, I'm guessing. <laughs> Man, if Ziaka was here, maybe she'd be able to give us a bit more information on all this, but I don't know what to make of it. Golfer pulls out his little mimic bag. Lad, does this ring a bell to you at all? Is this what you told me? The mimic's mouth kind of opens up. Yagrik is just like... Like, gets ready to hold out his axe. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't Easy. worry. It's normal. It's normal. Right, Kevin? I hold up the, I hold up the scabbard. I can't tell a lie. 
So yeah, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Our travel party is a little bit bigger than you might expect. <laughs> I can't tell a lie until you feed me. Well, you can Wait, tell the least... truth, though. <laughs> At least once. Okay. We'll talk later. <laughs> he, uh, the little bag, like, kind of, like, looks around. It, like, opens up its mouth, like, opening the slit. You watch this little protruding teeth come out, and a tongue kind of, like, forks out. Kind of, like, lashes out, almost like how a snake or uh, a lizard sniffs for air. Yep, this is the room. The, the room I told you. What's this room supposed to be, Golfer? This is what the map was for, lad. I was trying to find this place. This place? Yes. We couldn't, I couldn't really get that much information out of these little things. They all have their own personal little talking points and their own little duties that forbid them to learn anything else. But I think this is where the big, big mimic is. You don't say. Gopher kind of like starts rummaging through one of the, uh, one of the ships that's like kind of capsized near the edge of the water. He looks, uh, he looks around at, like, the bows of the, uh, I'm sorry, the bow of, like, some of the other broken ships. He starts, like, patting around, but he's very, like, gentle about it. He's, like, trying to knock on it to see if, uh, the wood makes a different sound as he goes down the ship. He finally gets to the figurehead. It's way more hollow than anything else. Like, it almost feels like the wood is non-existent, almost like it's paper. I go over and start examining it as well. Roll uh, investigation. Uh, that is a modified 20. Keep forgetting it's intelligence. All right. You kind of like press up against the wood, knock on it as well. You're feeling that texture of paper as well. Hmm. Almost like this, this really shouldn't be here, even though it's structurally sound. Is it chocolate inside? I rolled perception while they were doing this, just in case there was anything around us. Did but I only say chocolate. I did, but I only got an eight, so I'm gonna guess I didn't notice. That anything. was right but next I to your. did notice that. That was right next to your head, Wake. Whoa! <laughs> I look up. Like, is there a mouth anywhere? There's a figurehead. You're looking at the figurehead of the ship. It's depicting a man. Like, it's not not really like a, any detailed version, but it's a man, and he's holding two pistols across his uh, across his chest. That didn't talk. Below it is forming a mouth. <laughs> okay. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, all right, so we're going to have like a little man so who can so talk. So his okay. midriff talks. <laughs> yeah, the midriff of the figurehead is talking. Well, not exactly where I expected the mouth to form. Hi there. Uh, yeah. I want the My friend here said chocolate. Like trigger fingers. <laughs> I haven't tasted chocolate in almost 500 years. Hey, Lloyd, you have some of that chocolate? Uh, I don't think, I, don't think I ever got any chocolate. We got cotton candy. This is true. I do have cotton candy. That's almost as good. What is cotton candy? Ah, oh, you are missing out, my friend. Mm. It is like you a think cloud made good. out of sugar. Golfer is just like and sweetness. Golfer's on his f on his knees, just like I found it. It's finally mine. <laughs> right. I push him over. <laughs> <laughs> he pushes you away. <laughs> Whoa, he's easy, easy, easy. He like lo he like runs up to the ship. You. Do you remember your name? My name? I mean, I'm, it's kind of hard. I've been sitting here for quite some time. I go and collect some cotton candy from Eloy. <laughs> <laughs> here, maybe a little sweet deliciousness will jog your memory. I hold up the cotton candy to its mouth. So, you know that boss in Cuphead where the ship, like, turns into... Has yeah, I'm, a, I'm aware of that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just drop it in here. <laughs> These rock candies didn't heal so much, I'd throw that at him. <laughs> yeah, so the mass of the mouth that opened up does not make sense for the piece of the ship that was broken. Yeah, I'm willing to go with it, though. No, they yeah, seem to be extra dimensional entities. You fed him, you fed him the cotton candy. What do you think? This is what the mortals now make? Yeah. I mean, it's one of the things. It's one of many, many, many things. I mean, we still really like chocolate. We just don't got any on us now. I mean, up at the other island, 
I'm sure we could find you some chocolate. I like this better. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Do you have more? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... You got plenty of it. Yeah. In fact, I know where we can get an infinite supply. <laughs> Gopher throws a... Gopher, like, offers a bunch of bananas that he had with him. I guess he was just picking them while we were riding. Yeah. This taste I remember. This is the taste of things in my past I have eaten. My pat... My past. My <laughs> yeah, no, the ship just, like, the, the mimic on Flash the ship just kind of just, like... Time. Its eyes just... Oh, no, there, there was no eye. At least you didn't see. You see the portal? No, nah, but wherever its eyes are, no, it's no, got that you, thousand No, no, stare. no. So, Eloy, you're off to the side. You watch as on the starboard bow of the ship, where the portholes where the cannon fire would be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an eye. That's an eye. That's an eye. That's an eye. Oh, That's a man. lot of eyes. Aye, aye, Captain. Hi. I'm Eloy. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eloy. Eloy, bringer of cotton candy. <laughs> My name is Yeldon. <gasps> We've met Yeldon? Wait, wait a minute. Your name's Yeldon. And that's where we'll take a break. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the table. Uh, so we, f we found Yeldon, the mimic ship. What a shocking twist. A twist if there ever was one. You watch as Gulfer pulls out a very hefty journal and starts looking through all the pages. No, oh, it all adds up. It all adds up from all what the mimic said. You've been doing this your research. This is Yeldon. Yeah, it looks like you've been doing your research. Uh, Mr. Yeldon, we came upon a cave with a bunch of, well... Hey, Kevin, you know this guy? <laughs> Kevin? He looks down. You watch the eyes turn and look towards the, uh, towards the, uh, the hilt. Yeah. Oh, yes, I remember now. You're, you're hearing, like, the ship talk in a very slow mm. voice. I'm yeah. thinking the Ents from Lord of the Rings, but <laughs> less you know what? Uh, you can in breathing. You could think that, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's a fair enough comparison. Yes, I remember him. The trees. Really? I don't remember you. Of course you wouldn't. It's part of why we are like this. All right, and uh, I found this ring as well. Uh, Yancy? La Lancy. Yeah, Lancy. I remember him too. Thank you for collecting my crew. You're welcome. Um, so how'd you get stuck here? Oh... Well, that would be because of the octopus people that were down here. Oh. Yogurt, oh. like, looks to you guys, the wakes octopus up. people? No, Wake's eyes kind of... He's heard stories. Let me see how much he can recall. They wouldn't happen to have, like, a <laughs> sticky, slimy exterior, would they? Can I roll with advantage? Sure, why not? All right. <laughs> <laughs> please. Please. Good. The lore. Advantage reasons getting me a modified 20. <laughs> nah, this boy's talking about mind flayers. Okay. Okay, not the octopus people I'm thinking of. <laughs> okay. Okay. That tribe's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Odo, you've heard stories about the mind flayers. They're not tribes. They are otherworldly creatures. They are not of this realm. They are not supposed to be here. They have... They have technology that is far beyond stuff that we have any normal comprehension of. And you've Cell heard of... Phones. You've heard of people... Yeah, just, you just see a mind flare with a fucking flip flown. <laughs> it's so advanced. <laughs> <laughs> 90s mind flare. <laughs> Siri, whose brain is the best? <laughs> Look at this. I can watch YouTube from here. And we're just like, what's YouTube? <laughs> See, we're living. See, we're living in year eleven, twelve. They're living in year thirty, twelve. <laughs> God damn it! You, uh, from the stories you've heard, is that these creatures have technology that is not of this realm. Uh, they are creatures that steal other beings and use them for their elder. But you have—that's beyond your comprehension. Uh, beyond that. Okay. Okay. So, like the. 
The octopus people did this to you. Yes. From what I remember, unfortunately, I'm... Could you feed me a little bit more? It actually is helping me think straight. Uh, sure, I give him a little bit more of the cotton candy that I have. I would like something a little <laughs> less... personable. Metal, if you would. All right, I throw in a uh, military flintlock pistol. <laughs> Made of mithril. The eyes widen. <laughs> <laughs> And, bu oh. and bulge out. Oh, hi. That's the dopamine drop I needed. <laughs> <laughs> That's that high grade <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good shit. <laughs> yeah, we got more of that too. He's you, you, the ship is kind of us like settling now. You watch as it kind of like shimmies a little bit. <laughs> Oh yes, mimic equivalent of undoing your belt after you've eaten too much. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> stretching out its you. <laughs> mm, there we go. You you watch as like the metal that was like around it, like it was all rusted and like covered in seaweed and shit. You watch as the mithril is now getting like ingrated into the metal. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, yes. Now I recall. I was once a man. I've heard this story. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> You've heard the Ballad of Serpentor too? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I was... I was once a man. Much like you. My crewmates were that of men, too. Last I remember was we came here seeking to hide our known treasures from the world. You hid My, them in a cave. Yes, we came in here from what you see before you. From right. that vessel, we docked here to hide our goods from the rest of the world. And then one by one, my crew was taken away until I was the last one to be taken. I don't recall how my captors collected me. I remember voices in my head. And then I was on a table looking up at blinding lights and creatures I can't describe more than just that of an octopus. I look to my left and watch as my quartermaster have his innards be taken away from him through his nostrils. Whoa. Oh. The one you call Kevin is that quartermaster. Ooh. Quartermaster Kevin. Sorry you had to go through that. From what I remember, or what is coming back to me, is that these creatures took our minds and put them into inanimate objects, giving them purposes, altering their memories so that only they know of their purpose. So these are these creatures... Ah, the hell with it. I feed I feed Kevin another. Uh, I feed Kevin one of my, uh, well, basically my last regular dagger. Kevin, do you know if these octopus people are still around? The ones I was that a, did this to you. I was thrown in a cave. I don't know how I even got there. Fair enough. <laughs> I try to chunk the hilt. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> it was five hundred years ago, though. He's not wrong about that. Last, uh, the last I can slightly remember is coming to this island a very, very long time ago. The Yan Ti weren't here before. Neither was anyone from the town that I witnessed. Was this cave here before? We remember this cave. When you woke me up, I thought I would be here, but I was duty bound to not speak of it. So this cave is older than the Yan Ti. And the ooze running through these pipes. I think we may have come across where the mind flares are. Yagrig is just like, this is all well and good, but I want to find our man and destroy him. I would agree. Yeah, that does seem... Man? There was a man who came by. He was a small one, wearing a red cap 
and little boots. No, that's a, a different not, kind of man. Not quite the man, but Skrung, you have any questions for that? Where is he? There was one hidden in the wreckage. Just a few clicks down, I was thinking about eating that vessel for dinner. You know what? You go ahead and do that. <laughs> and I, I handed a gold bar and put it in its mouth. Oh, that Dude. was going to be my next move. Yar! Sorry. Good <laughs> habits. <laughs> you watch as the metal turns to gold around the rims of the, uh, around the portholes. Hmm. I'm going to, like, just decorating Yeldon. <laughs> I don't know. I think that might look a little more garish. Whatever. We'll, we'll, I've got we'll, this ruby. We'll think, we'll think Lad, more about this one. If it's all right with you, I want to see if there's a way I could actually get this out of here. Well, yeah, but we have a few, like, I, I don't think he's going anywhere, and I think that seems like a very good idea for later. Is, is that something that you want, Mr. Yeldon, sir? Would you like to get out of this cave and sail the seven seas again? Can I Along have, with your crew? Can I have my body back? Uh, if there's a way to do that, we don't know what it is. But it, we're probably better off finding it out there than here. Um, yeah, I mean, if if we ever come across anything that could help you, I mean, of course, we'd be more than willing. Roll. <laughs> Can I add mine to his because I was talking? Let's, let's I mean, see what he rolls first. <laughs> uh, eight. I would add exactly 15 to that. I can feel your emotions. The answer is no. I don't know. I, I honestly, like... We I don't... still owe you a truth, Kevin says. <laughs> is there a way to get his body back? I mean, yeah. If we go back to the cave and just ro root out that skeleton, there's his body. We can get you your body. <laughs> <laughs> Minus I'm a out, finger. <laughs> I'm out of truths. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Yeldon, you seem like a smart boat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm misunderstood. <laughs> I misunderstood you. <laughs> I was assuming get you back into a human body, like your original body. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't think that's happening. I see. But if there was a way to put you into this boat, then there's probably a way to get you a real body. Gone. The eyes are gone. The mouth is gone. Lad, you depressed the boat, for God's sake. It's not my fault it's so feely. I wasn't going to sit here and lie to the man. Boat. Man boat. Boat man. Boat man. Boatman. You daft bastards. Look, go on ahead. I'll be still here. I need to, I need to look through this now. Give me your items, please. He like he actually's looking at his notes and he's like handing you off like give me your mimics. <laughs> Fucking no, I'm not entrusting him. I'm not going anywhere, you daft bastard. Until you get the boat to take you. They're all broken. Uh huh. He it's is. gonna take me at least a month to put this stuff together again. I'm a one man. I hate to side with Golfer. I really do. <laughs> wow. Wow. I really wow. do. <laughs> wow. But just let me, just hear me out. We have a ship. He is depressed and missing his body and life. You have members of his crew. They might be able to help talk him Diplomacy into Diplomacy me. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. Shit. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, I have 15. Well, lucky you, I rolled a two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When you threw good luck, I was like, uh-oh, he must have done pretty well. Nope. <laughs> Fine. I take, I take Lancey off, and I hand him Kevin. Thank you. I walk over to Gulfer. I, I, I hand Whatever threat you're going to throw at me, lad, go ahead. I have no reason to tell you otherwise. If we don't get our hands back on those mimics and we find out that you got out of here, I will get out of this place. And I will kill you. <laughs> like, Roll you intimidation. Are, you are not leaving us here. <laughs> Shit. Uh, nine. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's magical, kid. Get out of here. Good. <laughs> glad, glad. Message received. Yes, I say, it's, stopping off. it's received. All right. <laughs> I pat him on the back. And like, a, <laughs> like a stone through a wet napkin. I, I, I pat him on the back. I say, look, I'm trusting you, okay? Don't leave us. And as I remove my hand, I also peel the paper back and leave the bomb stuck to his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Was that really necessary? He holds out a... He fucking pulls out a le- uh, his pistol. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Did you activate it? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's just got a bomb stuck to him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that said, we did leave it with the chemist. If anyone's got alcohol or something to dissolve that bond, <laughs> it'd, it'd be him. Uh, you think you're cute. That's funny. You're bitch, funny. I'm adorable. Oh, you're, you're absolutely adorable. You're a fucking Cupid doll you are. Takes out a small flask of acid. <laughs> Burns himself. Yep. No. Rolls it down the back of his neck. <laughs> Hits the floor. It was the dud. Ha! <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> you didn't know. You said you didn't add the dud to stickies. Oh, uh, fair enough. Yep. No. Saw through that fucking <laughs> ruse. No, but I'm telling him it was the dud anyway. He doesn't know. <laughs> roll a one in persuasion. Well, roll, roll deception. <laughs> Oh, that is a nat 20. All right, never mind. <laughs> he believes you. Yeah, it was the dud anyway. Just wanted to test your t- test you. Walk away. <laughs> Picks it up. <laughs> is he throwing it at me? In the water. <laughs> huh. Maybe it wasn't a dud. It's gonna be tough to get Golfer to be on our side if we need him to, like, you know, steer a boat. <laughs> we Gulf, just. Golfer? Two. Golfer will, will remember, remember this. Remember this. <laughs> in two no uncertain ways have we threatened and attempted to kill him. Wow. Oh my god. Ezra's just getting, getting trigger happy because he's been wanting away, away from all of this mess, and finally there is a boat, and Golfer may have stood in the way. No, he kind of wanted to get the <laughs> boat out of here so you could. May have. He's may bas- have. basically saying if you, if I you mean, none us. of you rolled an inside check. You didn't check if he was lying. <laughs> yeah. That's your job. That's not me. <clears throat> all right. All of you are ready, I guess. Y'all are great turns and sees. All right, I guess if we leave the dwarf here, where's the goblin? Is he in plain sight? <laughs> no. Then I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have a 14. Perception. 14 in perception, you say. Ooh, I got a 23. Hey, you don't see shit. You're, all right, well, you, he is you, hunting your head caps. <laughs> nope. You look all the way, like, just ahead of you. You watch as a small little pin, like a, a striped shirt, kind of just, like, leads into one of the broken pieces of wood off to the side. In the, uh, excuse me, at the wall of the cave. Was that where, um... Is that where you said the red cap was? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Scrum, you want a hand with that? Ezra's real good at murdering them red caps. Yeah, let's keep in mind who's got the better kill count on these things. You don't know how many he's killed. Today. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Scrum doesn't answer. You just watch him disappear into, into the inside of one of the uh, broken down ships. What do, you guys, what do you guys think? Do we just leave him? Is he on his own? Is he too venge fo- revenge focused? Or do we really need his help? I feel for Skrung. I'm going to hop over. Uh, Roll stealth. 
Oh, okay, if I'm rolling stealth, then that is a uh, 22. Wait, do I get advantage on stealth? Yes, I do. Never mind, that's a 24. 24. All right. You ebb yourself on over, going the exact same way Skrung did. He was going down a flight of stairs that lead into what looks like uh, the galley of a ship. Uh, he's down there. It kind of, like, leads into the earth, so it's like the ship kind of, like, has been embedded into it, and the obsidian kind of, like, flowed just underneath it that it's only, like, a small pocket of the galley. Okay. Uh, you look downstairs, and you see Skrung looking left and right, like, hiding behind crates with his pistol ready. He looks over and sees you. Like, right. nods his head for you to, like, edge over, but quietly. Can I use the same stealth check? Nope, got a okay. new one. Ah, same one. Hey, all right. Yeah, you fucking just slide your way on over there. No, no <laughs> noise whatsoever. You ninja yourself over, and he kind of like looks over to the side, pointing his head uh, past the uh, crate that you're standing behind. There's a red cap, but this time, the red cap is. Not not taller, but he's more portly. His hat kind of, like, curls in three times. And he's got little metal, like, dots trimmed around his hat, almost like there's screws into his head. This guy seems important. It's a metal muncher. They're, they're the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see anything on his finger? Do you see a ring? No. What's a finger? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Wake you blind fuck. My bad. I don't have dark vision. There, you don't need dark vision. Okay. Well, I no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's not he tries dark to, in here. He, he tries to peer over, and he can't get a good glimpse either. The, go, the uh, red cap is too busy rummaging around, like, pulling out nails out of the sideboard of the entire galley. He's trying to find little metal bits, and he's actually, like, sticking them in his flesh hmm. with each one he finds. Lovely. I mean, plus side, you let him do that enough, he'll probably kill himself. No, he won't. I mean, he's stabbing himself a lot. Yeah, I know, but these things eat metal. Yeah, that doesn't look like eating. Watch. Oh, gross. Yeah, gross, right? All right, note to self, don't that's stab why, it. That's why we want to kill him. Wait a minute. That. I know a certain centaur that knows a certain song that might do something about that. Too bad he's not very stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still got that cat's grace on me. does give me a bonus. I can try. Well, do you want to stealth on in there? Yeah, I'll try hey, and guys, follow Hey, guys, what's him. going on? Quick plop. <laughs> Eight? <laughs> Clip-clop, clip-clop, yeah. clip-clop. Clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. Oh, boy, clip, I just clop. got all this metal here. Oh, no. Oh, here we hold on. We got a prop. Oh, fuck. The props weren't here. If you would have said something to me before making a move, I do have my black icker that can make us invisible. <laughs> you, you watch as this thing, like, its beard is trimmed with... It's like metal because it's nailed into his chin. It's a fake beard. Ooh. Oh man, this guy's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> and like the metal, like some of the nails are so big, it actually cuts through the bottom of his jaw. And when he opens his mouth, you see the end of the nail sticking up inside of his throat. What the fuck are these things? What's wrong with them? They are mad. That's the problem. They come from a place made of nothing but pure madness. They have no rhyme and reason. They just need to eat. Fair enough. It's like Eloy's. Hey! <laughs> Guys, you went walking off. I'm real scared. <laughs> Yogrick Ez wants to move ahead. Ezra's pacing, pacing around real angry. <laughs> Jumps into one of the barrels. Shit. You're down there now. Do I? So if, if, if they're stealth, do I see them? <laughs> roll perception. Where, where are you? <laughs> you roll you guys, stealth. You guys came down here, right? Oh, now my fucking dice cooperate. 24. Uh, I got a 25. You see Skrung. 
Skrung is now just like so mad at you. <laughs> hey, Skrung! What? You, I asked if you needed help and you didn't say nothing. <laughs> Fuck! Turns around and shoots at the barrel. All right, I guess we're doing this. I hear a gunshot and approach. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He uh, takes a shot. He hits the barrel. It aims true. The barrel explodes into like little splinters of wood. Nothing's in there. It's gone. Of course it had a ring. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Hey guys, what I miss? Skrung is so livid right now. He is beside himself. He like runs over to the barrel and just starts picking up wood and throwing it against the wall, punching stuff. Fuck, I was so close, it had a ring! Did you get it? No, no, we did not oh, get it. It, okay. it, it got away. It got... You have never seen him this angry. You've seen him angry, not this angry. What he, was... is, he is just beyond screaming right now. He's just like, fuck everything! I could have had the ring! I could have had it! He really what... wants this fucking ring. What, what was this ring? Like, what does it do for you? You saw what it does I mean, when we does were it... in the woods? That's, it that's... teleports them? That's... Yes! I mean, we've seen two of these things today. There's a very real chance we'll see a third. Yeah, we'll get we'll get it. That was the big one. When the big one goes, all the others go. Oh, so we're we're safe to travel this place. There. No, maybe he's maybe he's just hiding somewhere else here. They don't know how to use the rings properly. Only goblins do. It takes them anywhere. We don't know where he could have gone now. He's just fucking gone. I'm going to look for any evidence of this thing, like any physical evidence of it. Roll investigation. Uh, 18. No soap. <clears throat> okay, so they don't bathe. <laughs> no, I've got, I've got two soap in my back. So, so, there's, there's, so there's no physical evidence of it whatsoever. No, it's gone. It just never, it's like it never existed. Wow, it just did not leave a single fucking trace of itself. That's upsetting. Hmm. Oh, well. Well. So you're saying that ring that it has teleported all of them? Yes, that's <laughs> what it does. It's the big ring. It's the sol It's the main ring. It's the soldier's ring. It takes all of the platoon it had with them and just takes them out. It brings them back to wherever they came from. But since it's a red cap, they don't know what the fuck they use it for. They just pop up wherever they please. Goblins know how to use this. This is how the goblin army takes them back home to the barracks and gets them out of fights. Is that what you want the ring for? Do you yes! need that? Skrung, th those goblins back at the back at the Coliseum Arena place, they had one of them rings. Could could we get one for you from them? No. No. No, you can't. They're given to you from birth. You can't get another one's ring. It only is attuned to you. So that was your ring. I don't know. I just want a ring to try and go home. Well, see now you're making me sad, Skrung. Now I realize what this is about. Yeah, it's quite sad, isn't it? Yeah, we could have helped you if you would have said something. You bolted off on your own and kind of bungled this for yourself. Yeah, we came along because we want to help you. If you would have said something, we probably could have been productive about it. To be fair, I'm an expert at victim blaming. <laughs> That's what go that fight your mind. <laughs> go, go find your man. Go find Victor. Do something. I am not going with you right now. I am not doing this. I am far too mad that I will shoot someone in the back of the head. Strong. Leave. I'm so Leave. Leave. Eloy. I grab. I, gra I, I grab. <laughs> I, I put my arm around Eloy. 
I think we should. I think we should go for right now. I, I'm sorry, he needs some time. Scrung, and I leave. Yagrick's just sitting there, just like Jesus. What the hell happened? He's had a long day. Apparently, he likes his home a lot more than I liked mine. <laughs> Sorry, getting a little winded there for a second. <laughs> no worries. No, no, no. You, I was you getting get into it. it. Yeah. yeah, no, I was getting. No, dude, this was his deal. I could tell. <laughs> and I was all the more ready to help him fuck that thing up. I wanted to get down there yeah. and eat some metal. <laughs> No, red caps are quite slippery. Once they notice you, they're gone. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but that's how that goes. Yep. So anyway, we are now with Yagrik. Yep, Yagrik is now waiting for you. He says that the pathway is right around that way, so right now, Gulfer and Skrung are no longer with you on this little adventure of yours. All right. They are still here, all, th all things considered. All right, well... We'll continue down the path this way, yep, I guess. Yep, that's a staircase. Hey. Right, we'll next to, right next to one of the little jar, uh, one of the little glass of fixtures. The staircase? No, it's going down. Okay, we continue down the staircase, which contained Nedra. Hey. <laughs> and uh, we'll you move my hear, stuff. You actually hear footsteps going down ahead of you. Well, I think somebody got ahead of us. Uh, roll me perception, all of you. 19. Uh, 23. 16. All right, you two hear the clunking of metal. Sounds like a plate of armor. Oh, I think that might be Troy. Ah. Yeah, that might, that might be it, but let's not, let's not give ourselves away just yet. This All right, what do we see as we reach the bottom here? As you head down, you see a body of water pool <laughs> down below you. God bless you. Thank you. Um... As you're going down this uh, pathway, Yagrik was right. It's getting really warm down here, like uncomfortably warm. Whew. I slip on my heat-resistant ring. <laughs> All this water will feel good on me then. You step in the water. I touch it with my toe first. <clears throat> it's hot. Ha! <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was pretty scalding water. You put on the ring, heat's gone. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> it I'd is say, pointing it is, to the ring. <laughs> it is calm. It is calm and cool down here. Let me know if the heat is I, actually getting to you. By the way, Wake, you might need this more than me if you are. I, I'm, I'm looking really at the ring. I want to see how much it's glowing on his hand, like as he touches the water. Uh, it's giving off that same kind of strobe glow as you saw around the pool of water. Not very bright, but enough that you can notice it. Okay, so not the kind of glow that it had when he was getting burned. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I am going to try to, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. You see where the blue line kind of, it's like, a... goes over the staircase? Yeah. So... That's water. That's yeah. foot... Like, that first step, that's foot-deep water. Okay, so if I wanted to make this 40-foot <laughs> jump and... How much elevation do I have to work with here? From here to here? Not a lot. You only got like five feet above you. So I can't make <laughs> a big jump. Okay. Where did I. And it's descending downward, too. What, Great. what direction did we hear like the. What sounded like armor? Is it like. It's coming from in front of you. It's inside. It's so is down... it like in the water? Yeah, it's going in the water. Okay. Okay, so they're obviously having a good time. Uh, look. When I, like, does this water feel like it would hurt me if I swam through it or attempted to? Like, is it just uncomfortably hot? Roll me nature. Are you in a bath or are you in a pot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I, get, am I getting cooked? Uh, you said knowledge nature? Or bath uh, or cold. Yeah, nature. Uh, that's a modified 20. You're looking at the obsidian that's kind of, like, on the side of the wall. This is, like, some lava. Not, not, not the water is yeah. lava, but like you're you're very close to like active lava on the other side of this wall. That so so it's a hot spring. Yeah, that going down, you're like entering a hot spring. Staying in this water for a prolonged period of time will cause burn effects. But for a short period of time, it'll feel real good. 
for a short period of time, but you don't know how long that short period is. You put your hand into the water for like a good five minutes, and then it's like, okay, no, this has got to go out. <laughs> All right, so I had enough time to do that. Um, yeah, I think I can make it across that in less than five minutes. Uh, you're watching as the water goes down. So you're seeing that in front of you. Uh, that's at least a good three steps down. That would put you at chest high water. And the ceiling dips down, and you barely have enough to lift your head up to surface the water. Like I know I don't like breathing hot water, so I'm not going to breathe while I'm under there, but I'll, I'll but just... But that, that's something you should tell your buddies, especially <laughs> yeah. the guy who has a fucking vel velociraptor mount with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll let them know. Like, God, I, I kind of assumed that he would know what his own caves are like, but... Uh, he he yeah. said he never went down this far. Okay. He never uh, went down this far. Look, there's gonna, we're going to have to swim a little bit here, uh, and it looks like you're going to have to go under for a second. Maybe two. Maybe three. I don't know. I don't know where it ends. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go swim under there real Here, quick and let you know how far under it is. Take out my ring and give it to him. You scout ahead since you can swim. And, All right. And be in the heat. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that, although I'm still assuming. Can I breathe that when I have the... Uh... Yeah. Okay. I put, I put on the heat ring. You step in the water, no heat. Okay, cool. Going I dive in. Very briefly remove it from my inventory. Don't bother. I'll be giving it right back. <laughs> However, you, you dive you into the You don't know what's going to happen. You watch, the water's very murky. It's like, like even, even, oh yeah, jeez. <laughs> even for, uh, even for you, like, you have perfect vision in water, like, the heat is rising. Like, you know in, like, a bunch of those Abyss videos where they uh, show, like, the plumes of lava shooting up? Yeah, like, it's, it's volcanic stream. Yeah, volcanic, the volcanic stream. That's what it looks like when you're underneath this water. Okay, that's dangerous. Uh, so I'm not going to breathe that because that's <laughs> phosphorus. <laughs> you can't feel like you can't feel this heat. However, you are watching that your hand is glowing redder and redder with each passing second. Oh boy! So I I, I swim through here. I my swim speed will take me through that in no time. Yeah, uh, you uh you get to about halfway. Like you see where the paper ends. Like just as where the paper right ends, you're starting to feel like the floor rise up, and. You can get out of the water with, like, a good five feet rise. Okay. I swim back over and deliver my report that it's not a very far swim, but it's an uncomfortable one. A good con save will probably help you guys out with that if you want to take the trek. I hand, I hand the ring back to you. <laughs> what Thank if you. we take that ring, we go one at a time with the ring on, we tie it to a rope... <laughs> And then we pull it back through, and then the next person can use it. I mean, we can, but I feel like time is of a factor here. Yeah, all right, that's fair. I mean, I did just spend five <laughs> minutes testing this water with my hand. <laughs> all right, I, 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 I dive in. Uh, I'll make my con save to make it through here. Or am I fine because I'm a merman, and I'll make it through here in like a second? <laughs> no, you need a con save. Okay. If you took the ring off, you need a con save. Gotcha. Uh, do, 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 18. Gotcha. Like, at the last minute, it started to get uncomfortably hot. And I kind of roll out of the water. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you, like, roll out of the water just like, oh, whoa. It takes you, like, a good minute to want to dive back in again. Yeah, I'm a little deeper blue than usual. Mm. Uh, with the ring on, do I need to make the con save? No. Okay. You just got to hold Out. your breath. Yep. Swim on. You don't have to make a con save for burning. You got to make a con save for swimming. Okay. Oh, and everybody else gets to make both. To be hey. fair, with my swim speed, I still held my breath, but I could. Just yeah, no, he's got a that. he's got a swim speed of what, sixty feet, seventy? Seventy. Yeah, you can make it out of there without having to actually do the con save. Uh, fourteen. A fourteen for your con save and breathing. Yes. Oh no, my son, that uh, the those so those are uh, too deep. Those uh, pumes of sulfuric water kind of like hit you so hard in the face that <laughs> you can you can feel it like just envelop on the inside of your sinuses yeah so uh we're gonna have to what roll. happens to me am i still pretty doc <laughs> no. you take 11 points of bludgeoning Shit. of like subdue damage suffocation no breathing Roll one more time. What? You're not as fast as him. You got to roll to get out. Fuck. You're nowhere near as fast as me. I mean, you that's don't, true. You don't, you don't have a swim speed. All right. That's a bit better. Uh, modified 20. That time. Hold on. 
Yeah, that time you make it out just fine. Okay. You you come out and Ezra, I, I, Ezra I, I looks hold, like he came my in, hand out. Yeah, you hold your hand out, you grab him. He looks like he just came out of like a tanning bed. He's still red, and that ring now looks like it has embers coming off it, even when it was in the ring in the water. Whew. So I have another idea, though it might be a little late for it. What if you have the ring and escort people? Like I'm pretty sure everybody else is swimming behind you. Well, all right. <laughs> All right. You didn't take the ring? No, you had the oh, ring. Oh, he had the ring, yeah. yeah. So you get a, a couple con save throws. All right. So I get a <laughs> con save for burning uh, 14. 14? Nah, you're taking that hit. Ugh. That's that ass, that sulfuric fucking, that pressure just that hits you like a ton water. of bricks. I'm going to eat one of my. Oh boy, that's candies. hot water. Not as bad though. You feel like your chest singe just a little bit. Like you feel like your like your ribs like kind of like cave a little bit because of the air that's been pressurized at you. Mm -hmm. Taking four points of damage from uh, suffocating. Yeah, you only cough up a little bit of your air. <laughs> and then, uh, what do I roll to for a swim? Is that another con save? Yeah, roll another con because you're still in the water. Not quite as good. That would be a nine. I ate my two rock candies that I had left and yielded right. an HP. I rolled a two. You take it like a champ. Hey. You 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 jump. You like gracefully leap out of the water like in Fantasia. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hi guys. I'm good. He is, he looks like he's yeah. Sunk. <laughs> <laughs> Found another piece of glass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the water brought that to my attention. Oh boy! <laughs> as, it, as it's seeping in now, you have so f you have Velociraptor bites glass well, I, glass. I, I did heal myself after the Velociraptor bites. Yeah, but so, so, so those, so those wounds closed. healed. You you have like the most amazing pierce job I've ever seen in this entire world. <laughs> All right, That's now for Yogrick and his raptor. He lets his raptor go first. No problem. This raptor's a champion. Yeah, you you watch as Sirlac kind of just like <laughs> it just walks out. <laughs> like screeches at you. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's a cutie. You watch as it just like looks at you. Like kind of like knocks its the bottom of its shin on your head. <laughs> oh, he likes me. You want some cotton candy, buddy? I don't think you should feed the cotton candy to the raptor, but go ahead, you do it. <laughs> I, you can offer it. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you want to offer cotton candy to him? Actually, I'll look because I've got some rations. I'll find some like jerky or something to offer to him. Roll handle animal. Thirteen. It accepts it willingly. <laughs> Hooray! Now for Yogrick. Great, we're gonna be smelling like wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> I got two soaps in here. <laughs> okay, he's baths. he's he's taking damage. Oh no, he's taking eight points of damage. And now for the next roll, natural one. <laughs> well, yogurt drowned. I am going to wait a natural amount of time before I think I need to dive into help. And at max damage too. Mm. Is he okay? Define okay. Can he get out? Well, Webster's defines okay as... <laughs> <laughs> I rolled another nat one. Give me the ring. Hey, it turns out you're the wonder. I hand it off. I pull it in and I dive in after Yagrick. He's under the water on the floor as the sulfuric acid is pouring up in front of him in his face. Going for it. Con save. Survive acid. Wait, do I make the do I need the con save if I'm uh, wearing the ring? Not for the heat. Uh, not for the not for the acid, no. Okay, cool. I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna grab Yogrik and I'm gonna zip out. Athletics. Athletics to grab Yogrik. Probably should just use the. Eh, I got it anyway. Uh, that is a twenty-two. You got him out. <laughs> He's uh, he ain't breathing. Anybody know CPR? I, I do, in fact. I was going to say, that is not in my skill list. I, yeah, I will attempt Eloy to... Eloy knows medicine. <laughs> yeah. Drowning, probably not my specialty living in the mountains, but I from do know the, medicine. From the looks of it, it looks like his armor got snagged on something on the bottom of the, of the, of the cave. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do my best to resuscitate him. Roll med. Ooh, nat 20. That's a 24. <laughs> Poof! <laughs> Clear! Just I got magic. Don't just worry, I got this. Picks up a hoof <laughs> on his stomach. <laughs> 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 well, let me roll for him to at least barf up all that fucking <laughs> phosphorus water. <laughs> He's at 1 HP. I pat him on the back. Okay, okay. Here, have some of this. I hand him a healing rock candy. He probably doesn't know that it's a health potion. It'll make you feel good. Just trust me. How much do I roll for him? It's a 1d10. 10. 10. Nice. Right. Hey. I'm, I'm going to down a healing potion and also offer one to Yagrik if he still needs more healing. 2d4 plus no, 2. No, he has his own. Oh, he, he's good? Okay. He, he's got one of his own. He um, he mulches that down for... He's almost back to full. He's like 3 HP away. There. Yeah, waters can be a little tricky. I hand the now almost melting looking ring back to Ezra. <laughs> Thanks. Your hand is feels like it's on fire putting this thing on. It doesn't I, hurt. I'm not putting it on. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the bag. Oh, no, but you hold it in your hand? <laughs> yes, I do. I do. It hold feels it like you're holding a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it doesn't hurt. Okay. But it's it, just, very hot. It feels you like you're holding a spell. You feel like it, it's extreme heat. Uh, roll arcane. Not so good. Uh, six. A six. Ezra needs some book learning. Yeah, no, you, you, you can't describe... Not one of those magic elves. You can't describe what this feels like, but you do remember that there, there are scrolls that people make that they could just willingly just make a fireball even though they have no way of casting magic. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what it... That, that you That's feel like... That's what this reminds me of? It, this is what it reminds you of. It's like you have no knowledge, no magical ability to do this whatsoever, but it feels natural. You know, maybe if you... Just blowing maybe, the maybe, ring. Maybe you can... <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to roll Knowledge Arcane on this thing. Uh, that is a... 18. Now, my, what, I, what I'm trying to assess is... Did we just charge this ring with a spell that we can dissipate heat upon something? Oh, yeah, you did, buddy. All right. You have an attack. Oh. Well, that's going to be handy. I put the ring on. <laughs> Warm, but it's not hurting, so I guess you this feel works. your entire arm almost have that same temperature, but it doesn't hurt. <sighs> it's just like all of a sudden you put it on, you put the ring you on, have power. flame on Do your entire fan. arm. Warm. Yes, okay. oh my god, is it ever? It hurts bad. Why? Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry, sorry, you sorry, just, sorry. You just did here. I hand him a potion. one point of damage to him. There's now a handprint on his arm. Fuck! Okay, experiment noted. Here's a potion. <laughs> yeah, there's like a pink mark where that ring once was. Yep. I don't need the potion, but I'll take it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that Yagrik does the whole dog shake off water thing, <laughs> he's now a giant poof ball. Gets on, gets on his... On Surlag, so now just imagine a fluffed out Pomeranian running on a fucking nice. raptor. <laughs> Eloy believes that he is a cutie now as well, but refrains from saying so, not wanting to harm his dignity. <laughs> are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Much better. All right, I think we heard uh, the other people we enter with up ahead, so we'll wander across this way where we see a giant circle of some description. You. Are now standing at the at the rim of the water. Oh no, other side. The rim of the right there. You're now looking forward. It's a giant in glass encased circle. Well, this looks familiar. On the inside, you see more boiling water. It's it's visibly boiling water on the inside. There's a little lip that looks like something was conducted from the middle, almost like you know how. Uh, the inside of a windmill is like the churning mechanism. It almost looks like that on the inside. That's surrounded by a moat of boiling water. And on the far end of the wall, that's sliding in bedrock. That almost looks like the, that looks like the volcano recently came in and kind of bellowed itself on top of it. 
Looks like this used to be some sort of mechanism. I don't know what on earth it would do. Don't. I might not know what on earth it would do. Uh, 12? Nope. Nope. I don't know what on earth it would do. It's strobing. It's giving off that same strobe light. This one's much brighter. Well, the other rings were glowing with water on them. Uh, and this seems to be glowing a lot brighter. Is it reminiscent of my ring? Uh, the the glow? Yeah. No, no, okay. it is not. All right. I thought, uh, it was, your, thought it was conducting your heat ring, for a second. Your ring is giving off a a red, whereas mm -hmm. this stuff almost looks like it's boiling tar. Okay. Well, whatever. And it the is. strobe around it is a very very sickly blue. Well, whatever this is, it's probably not good. And honestly, we probably need to keep moving. So I'm going to suggest we keep moving forward. Uh, getting across would have you go into the water, and all the this uh, way? all the jars you're looking at right now, all of those uh, glass vials, they got brains in them. They're floating. Hey. They are floating brains inside those jars. I think I know why the Yanti left, <laughs> and or why they. Oh boy. How however, they don't look like they're fresh. They look like they're decayed and yeah. kind of like just like floating there. Like 500 <laughs> years decayed? Like, does it look like somebody may have flayed 16? them? <laughs> oh, they've been flayed. Don't get that. Don't get that backwards. But these, Filet things, of mine. these things are old. Like, and if you look at the bottom, it has that same sort of like icker you guys took out of the jar to make those sticky bombs with. Oh, it's at the pool. It's making a small pool underneath the brains, but the brains are dried out and all like, uh, they're they're pretty much dried out and jerked at this point. Are your bombs covered in brain goop? It seems like it. That's kind of disturbing, but you know what? It makes for a great adhesive. <laughs> I mean, do you want to break it open to get more? No, I have no just, reason. I'm just gonna leave that. I kind of. So I, I'm pretty sure I lost my vials. Going my so that other hole. going around this way. Yep. Is like we'd have to go through the water to go through this way. Unfortunately, yes. Huh. As opposed to this way, which is impassable. Because it's elevated. Ah, okay. It's like it's a lip climbing up. It's a smooth surface of stone. Climbing up it would be very, very difficult. If you could find a way, uh, the jars you could probably like grapple onto if you have a hook of some kind. However, it's it looks like a thirty foot climb on smooth stone to get up there. Without the use of a tool. I mean, I got this grappling hook. The only way through, it looks like, is through that moat. This moat? Yep. Of molten tar. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Of the molten tar. And on the other side, you could try to shimmy up the, uh, the obsidian. That seems much more... I have climbing tools. I'll do that. You're going to go over to the obsidian? Yes. Roll survival check, touching the stone. Fuck. Uh, do, 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 that is a 19. <laughs> you put your foot on the obsidian, your foot sinks into the stone, and you pull it, en you pull it out just enough to watch as lava pool in where your footstep was. Oh. All right, that's not an option. I think. <laughs> No, never mind. Water's hot. I was like, could you do like a water whip from there to here to try and solidify this better? Well, my but... water's fine. Whatever I use is just nor like it doesn't deal heat damage unless we want to add to it. Mm. But I don't think that would be. Hey, man, that's up to you. All right. Um, so we got a molten pool of tar here, a lava wall, and a brain jar wall. Did you say this is a sheer wall? No, it's – so like you see where the – uh the the black line is yeah that it's like lipped up so it it should be like this i apologize i should probably draw that better all right let me just quickly do that quick adjustment quick map edit a quick map edit to, i apologize to better match the imagination okay so there's a par there's a uh like a lift it's a parapet on a platform okay it's a parapet yep. gotcha and how high up is that that was, it looks like it's 30 from this distance. 30 feet. Yeah. Woo. All right, I'm going to try to climb that sheer wall with my climbing gear. Uh, what climbing gear? The do-do-do-do-do-do. My climber's kit. 
Ah, so it must have like uh, pistons and shit like that, yeah? Yeah, like little hooks that I can strap to my feet and... Alrighty, I want you to roll me a 1d20 with advantage. Alright. And a proficiency, so that's a plus two. Well, that was a nat one, so I'm guessing anything will be better than that. Nat Especially a 16 plus... Uh, this would be a deck, or this would be athletics as well, wouldn't it? Well, this is for you to get oh, your just, shit just together. My, oh, just my shit together. Gotcha. So that's an 18. Get your shit together. Get your Put it together, Lanny. Get your get your shit together, Wake. Um, yeah, okay, eight, with eight, that 18, 18. to get my shit on. With that 18, no, you don your gear, which is fine. Pretty much what you're doing is you're setting it up so you can have the pistons in the wall just enough that you could probably go 15 feet. Okay. Without having to climb it again and do the same check, but gotcha. now you're like holstering the 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 rope and everything else to the wall, so now you have 15 feet to climb safely. Gotcha. All right, so that means the I have to make another check. Yep. For the next 15 feet. Nat 20. Nat 20. Nice. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so those who have two legs can get up. That leaves you and the Velociraptor. Velociraptor has two legs, just doesn't have arms. <laughs> Can't jump that high. Yeah. It has <laughs> arms. All right, yeah, yeah so do will. I need to roll anything to get up there? To uh, for you, it would be a... Well, you know what? I'm going to let you try either as well if you want to give it a go. But for you, you would roll a... Don't you, have, like, I, a, don't you have, like, a natural climbing thing? I was, was going to say, I have a second story work, which means climbing no longer costs extra movement and uh, adds dexterity mod. So roll athletics your plus a, dex. A, athletics plus dex. So, uh, da -da -da -da. uh, 18. Climb up like a champ. Hey! Dog Rick does so as well with a 18. All I right. have a grappling hook, rope, if we need to hoist people up. Yeah, um, at the very least, before I start attempting to climb up, it would probably be a good idea for me to, uh, to, uh, affix a rope to the raptor so that we could hoist him up if yeah. necessary. You want to give it a try to go up the, yeah, like harness up the, the pistons, though? Harness the raptor with a rope. Yeah. I probably should have had Yager do that before he came up since I have a feeling he would be better at animal handling this thing than anyone else. Yeah, he, well. can go, he can go back down. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gave him the jerky earlier. He's my buddy now. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I still got that raptor sex bomb. See. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yager will... Climb back down and help you affix the uh, holster to the raptor. All right. All right. Salrig is all strapped in, just like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Surlag is all ready to go. Now it just requires you guys to uh, host him up. Athletics check. What? What are you? <laughs> oh. There he is. <laughs> uh, my athletics check is a 15. Anybody else Athletic helping check? me hoist? I'm guessing you. I was going to say. Since you're up here. Yeah, Yagrik is down there now. It's athletics. Yep. Yes. Great. The thing I am terrible at. Eight. Okay, so 15 and his eight. <laughs> oh, Sir Lag will not be much of an assistance here. <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah, you, just, <laughs> you just see him like, he like rears back. He's like freaking out. Yeah, he freaked out a little bit. You hit the floor. Wait, who hits the floor? I do? Yep. I got yanked off? Yep, he yanked and pulled him forward. Oh! Ooh. I I try and catch him. Roll ath acrobatics, actually. I probably should have been on the front of the rope. <laughs> that would be a modified 26. I still got that cat's grace. With that cat's grace. Again, leap into the air. Oh, catch. <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eloy. <laughs> no problem, I got this raptor. No, you're, you're still fine. You're, like, you, you've let go of the idea of pulling on the raptor, and now you can give it a second try if you want. Yagrik right. will, Yag will instead go up the ladder and assist you with this matter. I was actually going to say I was going to try to wrap it around one of these things in, uh, one of these uh, jars and use it as, like, a levy. Ooh, okay. I don't know can't, how well that. I was gonna sit. say I can't wait for this shatter. Oh no! Do you do it? I mean, how I've, thick is the glass? Like, do I think that it would structurally hold such a? Roll endeavor? investigation. 
Wake thinks it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. No matter idea. what it is. No, it's a brilliant idea. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing. I'm a fucking genius. While Athletics. While doing this, I am trying to climb, clamber back up from my fall. Roll, ath roll uh, ac acrobatics. I got uh, a uh, 23 21. on my athletics. This is so smart. <laughs> I got a 21, so I'm assuming I climbed up there. Again, you cl you like climb back up, and I'll just roll for Surlag. Oh my god, Surlag, for fuck's sake. This is the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> Surlag fucking flips out again, being nope. hoisted up by the stomach. It's like, no! Don't worry no! about Surlag, I got you! Uh, so don't move, Surlag! Surlag, don't move! Pull faster! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! The rope, the rope goes with it, and the brain hits the floor. I, I'm just imagining that my head pokes up. Hey, I made. Just, brain just, just gets me right in the face. Oh no! I'm coming up to hit. Well, don't you look stupid? <laughs> Yep, so the glass shatters, there goes the there goes the rope. Well note to self, let's install ladders. Uh Alright. I so. put a rope ladder down. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I was about to say, fuck you, you don't. I was gonna say, I have right. another rope new, if we can <laughs> How about new plan? We hoist me up since I will not be struggling and fighting against you, and then all of us <laughs> can can try and help our, our raptor buddy here. Well, I have another 30 feet of rope if that rope was ruined from brain glass. Yeah, um, real quick, I need you to, yes, I want you, since, since you were very eager with that little joke of yours. Oh, no. It's not, no, it's not damage. Do not worry. It's not damage. <laughs> yeah, I really can't I afford to get hurt more. I want you to roll me a deck saving throw. All right, well, that's hopefully what I'm good at. You got that yeah. cast, cast All right, race, uh, too. modified 20. Okay. Uh, the glass and the rope fell into the brain goop before coming towards you. You watch as it snakes its way towards you. Woo! Dodge the bullet. <laughs> And it hits the floor. <laughs> Sorry. Does the raptor just start chewing on the brain? <laughs> it seemed like a better idea than it was. No, the clearly. Brain, no, the brain's on the floor. And uh, I want you to roll me a quick investigation on that brain, my friend. Me? Yeah, you. As I saw it rolling by? Yep. I'm sure it's very interesting. Um, Ten. I could have sworn you saw a hand in that brain, but nah, don't worry about a it. A hand in the a brain? Hand. No, no, you, right. no, it's fine. All don't right. worry about it. That, I right, forget it. All right, so now what, gentlemen? Like I said, I well, have... Well, Yagrik's still down there, right? So he can... You can climb back up. back up. Yeah, he can uh, get another... He's gonna, you're gonna give harness. him more. You're gonna give him more rope to harness onto. Uh, yeah, I, I, I take I take the rope that's on my uh, spear and I toss it. I, I toss the thirty feet down to him. He takes it, puts it on Sir Lag, and takes it up with him. Okay, uh, that was my bad. I was a little hasty. We're down one rope. I mean, not really. It's still there. It's just a little sticky. Eloy, do you have that rope? Watch I got. It. Watch your step. I got 50 feet of rope. I got a grappling hook. I got a climber's kit. Nobody thought, hey, does the guy who lived on a mountain know a, <laughs> a thing or two about climbing? Well, you just wanted to see him get played out. Let's be real here. In <laughs> our defense, Eloy, you could have said something. <laughs> Given by your hooves, I didn't think climbing would really be a strong suit of yours. <laughs> not, not completely vertical smooth stone, at least. <laughs> He's not a goat. <laughs> it's It's... I mean, quadruped, it's not something he's physically good at. It is something he's knowledgeable about. It's kind of his culture. I have science on climbing. Not skills in it, but science. <laughs> and and I, I, he couldn't see a thing you were doing up there with that jar, or else he, he might have had some words to say about it. Eloy, the ideas guy. <laughs> Sorry, but that Nat one told me that was the best idea I've ever had in my entire life. Brilliant. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Really? If, if I haven't... That glass looked so thick. 
If I haven't already, remind me to tell you someday about the story I call the waterbed incident. Okay. Right. <laughs> it happened in real life, and it was just as dumb as what you just did, <laughs> if not more so. Great. Geez. Perhaps at the end of this episode, we will ask. <laughs> All right. So with Yagrik up here, Ezra up here, let's do this. <laughs> Eloy first. Yeah, we'll, harness, we'll, yeah. we'll ho- hoist Eloy first. All right. Because he seems to struggle less. <laughs> Yagrik got a nat 20. Eight. Well, Yagrik's going to be doing most of the pulling. I got a 15. I got an 11. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Yagrik took the firm hand on this one. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big old strong dog, man. Yeah, you just, you just watch it. Like, he, he doesn't even pull it up. He goes like this. He goes, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> And you just watch, it's like, you're, you're now Whoop. just like, Whoop. woo, woo. <laughs> All right, now let's tie the rope to Eloy and just have yep. him run. Yeah, <laughs> smack. Go, Eloy, go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you get hoisted up with no problem. All right, all right now, we'll ho- now we'll hoist up. Yeah, the four of us working all together yeah, you were, in you tandem. Were, you had the rope that was to Surlag, so that was your job. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll hoist Surlag. Everybody together now. Uh, well, I'm not of much help. Six. Eleven. Uh, Fifteen. Eighteen. All right. Okay, so I'm thinking with, your with eyes, all of us, with, by our powers combined, the raptor made it up. Let me roll for the raptor. Okay, let's see him struggle. <laughs> God damn it, Sir Lag. Fucking Sir Lag. Oh, my God. Roll the two. Roll the three. Now just roll the four. <laughs> nope, Yogrick's not having any of this shit. <laughs> That's the sound of us bringing him up. He's getting calmer and calmer <laughs> as it goes, I guess. But very subtle. Yogrick has had enough of this shit and barks down at it with at with intimidation. <laughs> with a nat twenty. <laughs> yeah, young no. man, you will climb this mountain. <laughs> Docile raptor. <laughs> yep. Yep, Sir Lag just like stops moving. <laughs> And with another athletics check of 19, Surlag is now up there. Uh, Surlag proceeds to jump off. <laughs> Which more fun? Surlag now jumps into the pit of lava. No, no, I think we're gonna move ahead of that away now. Any, any, any complaints on that one? I'm with you. Anybody want to examine these jars of brains? I, I have real bad luck with that. I am just going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to touch or handle, but I'm just going to look at them to see if I can roll investigation. Hey, that's not good. Five. <laughs> them brains, and you swear to God, there's hands somewhere. All right, I'm gonna look because this seems intriguing. Ooh, a spinny dice. What could it land on? <laughs> ah, a 19. Modified investigation. Yeah. Um. So these brains that are floating in there, they have little, almost like raptor feet kind of attached at the front and to the back. So it's like little quadruped fucking brains. brain dogs. <laughs> Looks like they got something but on they're their all, minds. But they're all shriveled up and shit. They don't look like they're alive, but... It looks like these things were tampered enough that they actually have, like, little quadrupedic limbs. So, like the head crabs from Half-Life. Kind of, yes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's... I'm gonna make, like... The goop is still below it. Like, there, there's plenty of goop for you to just go, Hey, Jar, mine now. But uh, you have to break the glass. Yeah. Using my dexterity to handle my pen, I'm going to try to, like, draw a quick doodle of, like, what I'm looking at here. Uh, and I rolled a uh, 18. You try to, like, draw what I'm looking at. here. You drew what looks like a raisin with little limbs. That's close enough. With the thing he broke, is there any slime just, like, on the ground to pick up, or is it all? Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna mark like I'm I'm gonna draw that on the map next to where we are. Mm-hmm. I don't really have any containers now that I look at it. Oh, you're looking for another container here? I got my empty vial of cat's grease. You hey, that. thank you very much. <laughs> he just sees me sifting through stuff and be like, nope, nope. Uh, <laughs> would this hold it? No. All right. So what do I? 
do I have to like use deft hands to not stick myself to it, or is it like on roll. a surface that I can? I would roll strongly of hand. I would strongly advise gloves, please. I have no more alcohol. Sleight of hand. First, I wrap my hand in some like some rags <laughs> just in case. Sleight of hand with advantage. Hey, you should buy gloves. Well, nat twenty. So <laughs> hey, you have a full jar of this stuff. All right, neat. All right, and with that, we will... Before you do... The others in the Navy are actually there. Yeah, Who the you, fuck were you helping? As you turn, as you turn the corner, they, they look to you and just go... I wrote it down as vial of brain ooze. That's fair. <laughs> let, let me know if uh, yeah, no. there's a more proper They're, they're up against the wall, because all three of those little, like, slits that you're seeing, that's all hallways that lead into another bigger dome. <laughs> I like how they're shushing us and, like, literally, what, 50 feet? Shattering feet, glass. 50 feet glass arr, back. Arr. Walking, walking around it took, like, at least five minutes. This is a huge okay, room. It's a okay, okay I mean, it's a really, really big room. Map is not so, so this map scale. is not to scale? No. Gotcha. It took you like at least five minutes to traverse around. This, this map thing. is, for example, not for combat. Okay. Right. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was made by Doc Brown. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. Yep. So they see you guys coming. They're just like, shh, and they, they kind of like usher you to like lean up against the wall. All right. I'm gonna stealth. Yep. Oh, where were you earlier? Twenty three on my stealth. Twenty one. You're uh, actually quieter than me, than Rogue. <laughs> he do, 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 leap so. again. With a leap. <laughs> Modified 20. <laughs> Modified 20? All right, you guys are fine. With a leap, you just, like, <laughs> you grace yourself next to Troy. You became one with the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peering around the corner. Yagrick, uh riding on Surlag. Surlag's not a stealthy boy. <laughs> he, just yeah. had a, he just had an endeavor. <laughs> All right, so we peer around the corner here, and yep. we see... 